Alright, Shalom. Shalom. We got the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of America. Which is Babylon according to the scriptures. Before we begin, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kakwadash. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. We people call God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, only we got His Son. We people call Jesus Christ. Alright, and all double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Alright, also shall to 144,000 men as later in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And shall along to the innumerable multitude that's listening, and all true men sincerely shall along. All right, we out here prophesying the downfall of America, telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. All right, and, and we tell the down, the downfall of our enemies. All right, but mainly the so-called the so-called white nation. All right, which is uh, uh which is the Edomites, according to the Bible. All right, without further ado, we'll get to the All right, so the water y'all bust around shot, keeping us safe. Uh, keeping us safe through the week so we can uh, come out and do your work. All right, and uh, pray that this lesson is edifying to the, to the elect. All right, this is Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, so it says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, so the things that, because the, uh, of the times that we're coming into, but we're going to need faith, okay? We're, we're not going to know where our next meal is coming from, all right? We're not going to know, um, we're, we're pretty much going to be living, you know, minute by minute, second by second, okay? So in, in these times that, that, that we're entering into, you're going to need faith, okay? And and, and you got to have faith in, 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 in the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al Shad, okay? He, he, he's our guy in these times to come, all right? Dropping down to verse 6. And it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so in these times, you're going to need faith. Because the Lord, he's coming back to redeem the faithful. You know, he's not coming back to redeem the, the, the nigga that's, that's, that, that, that's going to go down to Egypt for help. You know, you, you, you got to be willing to die for this truth. No, you, you you gotta put your you gotta put your body on the line for for, for the Lord. Okay? A, lot of, a lot of people are being found out, especially in Texas, that you know their faith they had no faith. You know they had no foundation. See, they never thought about serving the Lord in the wilderness. You know, because this place is gonna become a great wilderness. Our people they haven't considered these things. They haven't considered the downfall of Babylon. All right, they don't consider these things. So now when they're going through you know all hell, all right. Now they're not calling upon the Lord, all right? Even if they try to call upon the Lord, they don't know the name. No. Only the elect know, know the name of the Lord, all right? So now now, when, now when tribulation comes, now what they want to call on the Most High. What were you during the time of your liberty? What were you doing during the time of your liberty, all right? Everybody else was ignoring the prophets. But the prophets that are there in Texas, they're great. They they're doing out. good. They went out on tour. For real? Yep. Huh. Yep. I got a scripture. This is uh First Thessalonians five and uh two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Woo! You see that? So that's the time that we're coming into, man. You people when peace and hey, look at those people in Texas. They thought everything was good. Then the next day, a polar vortex hit them. That's probably by Esau, real talk. But that's through the will of the Lord. All right? When y'all say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come down, just like what's about to happen in America. Right? It says in the last days, just like in the days of Noah, y'all going to be partying, y'all going to be drinking, y'all going to be marrying, and then the wrath of the Lord is going to come down on y'all, man. They're not going to notice it until that. That's right. They're not going to notice it. You know? And that's the thing. The days of Lot, days of Noah, they know about the day to day life. That's right. That's right. The men of the Lord out here telling you, in, in those times of Noah, Noah was telling them every week, hey, it's about the rain. It's about the rain. But now we living in a land full of homosexuals, full of lesbians, full of a land of wickedness. Okay? So when, when the destruction from the Lord, who you equally call Jesus Christ, comes down, don't be shocked, man. Okay? Because his men, before every civilization falls, the Heavenly Father forewarns you people about the judgment to come. He's a fair and a merciful power, man. 
So he forewarns you. All right. But you people don't take heed. Isaiah 42 and 9 says before these things spring forth, I tell you of them, man. All right. So when you people get judged, don't act like you didn't hear. You had the opportunity. You walked down the street. You heard on the Internet of the truth of what's going to happen in the world, man. And America is about to be destroyed by 200 million thermonuclear missiles. That's right. God, thus said God. the Heavenly Father and thus said the Bible. God. This is Luke 17, verse 26. And, and, as in the, as, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Okay, because we're, 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 we're living in the time of Noah. You know, history, history repeats itself. Come. There's nothing new under the sun. All right, so, this, so really, the, the elect, we're like many, um, we're like many Noahs. You know, we're, we're, we're preaching, we're telling our people to repent, all right, because the Lord, he's coming to bring judgment, all right, he's coming to bring thermonuclear missiles, all right, that fire. The only difference is the Lord, he's not coming with that, uh, he's not going to cleanse this place with water. He's going to cleanse it with, the, with, with fire. That's right. All right. Uh, everybody knows that the most high, the Lord said he's coming as a thief in the night, okay? But it seems like everybody, they're not, they don't ever think about the Lord. They don't ever think about that point. When the Lord said that he's coming as a thief in the night, all right? Because in, in, in Texas, their judgment came as a thief in the night. Because what happened over there was like, it was pretty much a phenomenon. Like stuff like that never happens in the South. That's, that, that's God, you know? That's a pessimist, right? That's a pessimist, man. Stuff like that never happens, man. But suddenly it happens, man. Okay, as a thief in the night. And that's just a small part of what's getting ready to fall upon Babylon. What's getting ready to fall upon America. Okay, there's gonna be great tribulation that happens here, okay? All right, that's just a small part. And look how unprepared they were. Look how unprepared they were. But the men of the Lord, they're rejoicing. All right, because we all, we consider every day. Okay, because when you're, when you're in this faith, any day could be that day. Okay, every day could be your last day. Okay, this is the spirit that we're in. All right, that's not the spirit that these people are in. They're not considering the most high. They're not, they're not willing to serve the Lord. They're not willing to keep his commandments. They want to go establish in their own righteousness. I got okay. a scripture. Go ahead. Uh, oh, you got some? Go ahead, you can bring yours out, bro. This is Sirach chapter four and verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You gotta strive unto the truth, even if, even unto death. Okay, if death looking you right in the eyes, you still got you you gotta you gotta die serving the Lord. All right, you know, cause that hour of temptation, you know that that that's gonna come upon the, uh, everybody on the face of this earth. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you you might not eat for for three four days. Okay, but what, what you gonna do? You gonna end up taking that? You gonna end up bowing down, taking that chip? You know, for uh, prolonging your life just for a moment. You know, so this, this is the mindset that we got to have, striving unto the truth, even unto death. Because if we, even if we get put to death, this is our last death that, 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 that we're going to experience. Okay, and the men that die serving the Lord, the women, the children that die serving the Lord, they, they, those are going to be the first spirits risen up when, 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 the, when the Lord and the host of the angels come back. All right, so, so this is the mindset that we got to have. You know, you got you to gotta be like, fuck this place. All right, because... Because what, what, what this place has done for the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Absolutely nothing. You know, it, it, it destroyed us. Huh. You nothing know, but, nothing but Esau turning y'all into, into a sodomite, turning turning y'all turning women into men, turning men into women. You know, y'all walking around with, with fucking dyed hair. You know, Bill Gates talking about um, synthetic meat. You know, so what is it? What is it in this place to die for anyway? They got today. A brother showed me, sent me something. They're talking about celebrity meat now, man. So whereas they basically, they have beef. And what they'll do is they'll take DNA from your favorite pop stars, all right, like Kanye West or something, and they put that inside your meat so, so that you can try to get part of their hormones and their DNA, man. This is the time that we're living in, man. This is the time of the end, man. How, you people can't see it. It says only the wise will be able to see it, man. All right, uh, let me get this. This is uh, going because we spoke about the days of Noah in the New Testament. But let's go back to the Old Testament and see what it said. This is Genesis uh, six and five. It says, and the most high saw that wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of his thoughts 
of his heart was only evil continually. And those are the times that we're living in now, man. All right. The great, the wickedness of man is great in the earth, man. All right. And you got men that want to sleep with other men's women. All right. You got uh, women that want to have sick. A, a chick on a breakfast club says she got more than 50 men, male partners and she was proud about it. She was boasting in it. But there's something now came out. Uh, I think it's called micro micro uh, chimeria. A woman who has sex with a man, micro, yeah, something along that effect. The where if a woman has sex with a man, his DNA stays in her brain for the rest of her life. So that's why if a woman has uh, sex with her new boyfriend and her child comes out looking like her ex, it's because she done dated all of these other dudes, all right, and now she's defiled, okay? So that's why a woman is only supposed to be one man for her whole life. All right. But going back, it says, uh, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. See, and just like he had mercy on Noah and his sons, that, that, that spirit is talking about the elect of the heavenly father in these times. All right. Because you people, y'all, all of you that don't repent or of the other nations, you're not going to be shown no mercy. The Lord says no mercy shall be shown to them that have shown no mercy. All right. It says, and the Lord said, I would destroy men who I've created from the face of the earth. Both man and beast and creeping thing in the fowls of the air for repentance me that I made them. I'm going to jump down to verse 11. It says the earth also was corrupt before the most high and the earth was filled with violence, man. That's what we're living in. We're, we're living in a violent place, man. All right. Everything, everything, that, everything that we see now, we're living amongst the Edomites, the so-called white nation. That's a violent nation, man. Uh, All right, the, 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 the curses of Deuteronomy said, they shall not regard the person nor the, nor the young, man. A harsh nation, man. All right? A fierce countenance. You know, these Edomites don't care. You know, they was the other day, they calling, the, this is how you know the so-called Hispanics are our brothers. They called him a nigga. He was out there recording. They like, say it again, they called him a nigga. This is how you know, they don't look at no difference between you and us. All right? You, if you ain't, if you ain't an Edomite or uh, uh, one of the other nations that they got uh, a council with, hey, you a nigga, man. This is why we try to warn our people, man. Through the spirit of power, get high by shot, man. You know, we're warning you from the Most High, man. All right, we're telling our, we're, we're, we're doing our best to wake up our people, man. But two thirds of our people, they're not waking up, man. We're warning them about their enemies, man. But they're not, they're not uh, waking up to the fact that the so-called white man is their enemies, man. These are the same people that put you into captivity. These are the same people that put GMO in your food. These are the same people that put that that gives you uh, um, uh, vaccines. All right. These are the same people that that pollute your water. These are the same people that pollute your air. Okay. These are the same people that call you black, African American, turning everything upside down. These are the people, man. That's why the Lord calls them the devil. They are deceivers. Mm -hmm. These are the same people that that was killing us in our past lives. You know, because these huh. spirits are coming back, are, are coming back, uh, are coming back again. Huh. You can see it in them. When you're walking past them, when you're in conversation with them, or brief conversation with them, you can see it in their countenance, man. They hate your guts. The only reason why they have to uh, 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 tolerate you is because they have to on this side. Okay, because they know, at least right now, that they'll go to jail if they touch you. They made you their slave, and now you got rights. They can't stand you now. Right. You know? And see, they, they just find little subtle ways to uh, bring forth their wickedness, man. All right, try to shoot you, shoot you down in the streets, and, and the police get away with it. They try to do all that little behind. They uh they program your music in order to get you to be uh get thrown in jail. They put pump uh guns and drugs into your communities. And this is the East Side of the Devil we dealing with, man. And now they got this little dog parade down here, man. These Edomites, these dogs are sad as hell down here, man. You know, the the. The lady in the elevator, she like she got a dog. She came in with the dog. She like, oh yeah, we just rescued him from the Dominican Republic. I ain't rescued that dog. All right, he's sad as hell now that he gotta live with some Edomites, man. Right, right. I ain't rescued that dog. They, they call it an animal rescue, man. Dog these these dogs are sad under the oppression of the Edomites, man. Huh. All right, these dogs can't wait to be free, man. In our kingdom, we ain't gonna have no leashes. Huh. You see, huh. that that's the mind of the so-called white man. Leash everything up, man. Because the dogs are defiled now, so that's why they got to be put on a leash. The, the dog's super aggressive towards everybody, all right? And our king ain't going to be no leashes on no dogs, man. You got something, bro? Job 30 and 1. Yep. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Right, that's talking about the Edomites. It says those that are younger than I. That's speaking about the Edomites, man, okay? 
it, it says, uh, I would not disdain, my father's not disdain him to be with um, the, uh, the dogs of my flock. So Job, all right, who you people, y'all, yeah, everybody like to talk about Job when they going through something, right? Job said, I wouldn't even let the so-called white man and woman around my dogs. That's what he said, man. Because he know that they do wicked things, man. They'll fondle your dog. All right? Your woman will be having sex with the dog, all right? They put they dye their they dye their uh, dog's hair different colors, all right. They feed them human meat. They do all kinds of stuff, man. You know, so the dogs are waiting to be free too. Oh, you got some, bro. Go ahead, you can bring it up. Going back to the gate. Huh? Oh, uh, this is uh, Luke chapter eighteen, verse seven. And shall not the Most High avenge His own elect, which cry day and night unto Him, though He bear long with them? Verse eight. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of the son of man coming, shall he find faith on the earth? That's a question, all right? Because it's gonna be so bad out here. The, the Lord said, uh, "Can I find faith on the earth?" All right, but the elect, they're gonna remain faithful. You know, they're they're gonna wait on a brick on a big brother. They're gonna be waiting on a Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. All right, it said uh, Romans says, 7,000 shall not bow down to the knee of Baal." Yep. And that's the elect. All right, the elect, we're not going to fold. All right, Lord willing, we be those men. All right, because, because the scripture we brought out, strive unto the truth, even unto death. Okay? Uh, Luke chapter 12 and verse 27 it says, Consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is to today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be, be ye of doubtful mind. All right, you know, in the times of coming in, you know, we can't be of a doubtful mind, man. You know, think that the Lord is not gonna uh, feed us, you know, just because you don't eat for one or two, three days, you know, you gotta continue to have faith in the Lord, all right? And, and that's why it says in uh in uh second Ezra uh, that he's gonna uh he, he's the god of them that keep the precepts. That's right. All right, because in, in a time of trouble, the only thing that's gonna come for you is these precepts. Alright, you know, Isaiah 65, you know, that the Lord is gonna feed his men. Alright? You know, we gotta meditate upon our precepts. These are that's that's our comfort. And that's why the Lord is you know, is giving us his time now to, to seek him, to, to remember his precepts. So in a time of trouble. You know, it, it's, it's gonna be like breathing. Right? Yeah, that's all you're gonna have in the day of tribulation. That's all you're gonna have is the word of the Lord. Okay? You think uh, a lot of those people in Texas have the word of the Lord in their mind? You think they're over there uh, quoting and meditating on precepts over there? No. Who's the only ones doing it? The men of the Lord. And it's, and it's, and it's sad. I don't know if it's true, you know, but uh, 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 that, that he saw he's, he, he's controlling the power. And I was watching your video, uh, and they said uh, in all all the uh, all the poor neighborhoods, that, that, that's where all the lights are shut off. That, uh, that lady was saying something like that. That did, uh, you know, she um, that lady over there who did that testimony, he said, spreading the word about what they doing over there, man. They said that she was like they trying to kill us. You know right. what I'm saying? That, because he's, they, that snow over there, all right? They uh, people been putting it in the oven. People been putting it on a stove. It ain't melting. It got different chemicals in it. Lady said it got a, one lady said she got it tested. This was from a couple years ago though. But she had got snow tested. It's like, no, Esau been working with this. And now he used these little things like what's happening in test Texas as experimental times, man. You know, to see see what's gonna happen. But you got snow that can't melt? That's unnatural, man. All right? The, the Heavenly Father, he, he says snow is a part of his glory. Okay? Uh yeah, if, so if, if he's off, if he's off, he's off. You know what I, what I think is is that you know he'll raise people's blood pressure slightly by the things that he's uh, 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 spraying in the air because when your blood pressure is up, the cold is a lot colder. You know what I mean? So now you're gonna feel a lot, lot colder than what it actually is, man. You know, and who else who else knows what they're who, who knows what they're spraying up in there, man? As well, you know, Esau is, he's been thinking about these days, man. All right, he's been meditating about these times that we're in today. Okay, and now they're unfolding these things, man. But Esau, we know through the scriptures that Esau is the sword of the Most High, man. All right, to judge to to judge two thirds of our people, man. Our people forget that uh, Esau is in right now. He's in one of his phases of his New World agenda. Right. Right. So one of his phases ultimately is for depopulation. Right. 
All right, so things like, they like, hey, yo, all right, hey, throw COVID out there, see how many we can take out. And this is all the will of the Lord, ultimately. All right, but hey, now throw the, uh, throw the Texas uh, conundrum out there, see how many we can take out. You know what I'm saying? So Esau is trying to do his new world order, but it's not going to come to pass. The scriptures say he shall not perform his enterprise, man. He's trying to do everything little by little. Yeah. That's what he's trying to He's trying to be as the most high, you know? But he's going to get to a certain point, man. He's going to get too hasty. He's going to get hasty, and he's just going to come in like a flood. That's why you need that chip. That's why, That's why you need that chip. Because he's like, all right, everything else is not working at the rate we wanted to. We got to push that chip out now, man. We need control because it's the other little stuff ain't working. We need control of these people. Because they're starting to see that Jacob is resistant, man. Yep. Ain't a lot of Jake out there take, going, running to take the, uh, the, 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 the vaccine, man. Yep. You know? I got, it, it ain't got to the point, you know, where, where they're where they going to lose their job. Yep. You know, it ain't got to that point yet. Mm -hmm. I got a scripture. This is uh, 2 Ezra 2 and 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. For I will require them from among thy number. So the, Lord, the people that serve in the Lord, he said, we're not going to perish. He's going to keep us. Right? Lord willing, we those men. Uh, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, man. All right? And that, that's what's going to happen. So when you read uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the times, man. That's what's going to keep you, man. Serving the Lord. Knowing the name of the Lord. Keeping his commandments. All right? Have, uh, understanding the mercy of the Lord, all right? But these people, it says, we're going to be merry and have abundance. These people are about to be weeping and sorrowful because what happened over in Texas, if that happened in Florida, you people would be S-O-L, man. Y'all don't have a chance down here, man, all right? Y'all, let, let, uh, let it get 30 degrees down here. Y'all people be freaking out. So let, let an extreme cold to come down here. Let, that's why the brother Bar said, hey, man, it's so, it's, it's so crazy how close uh, Texas is to us and we didn't feel none of the, the brunt of that cold you know if that would have happened here in Florida man people would have been SOL out of luck man right and it was funny because how is it that they were down in single digit numbers right but then we don't we we, we damn near 90 degrees in Florida uh. now how in the world because normally normally we'll watch the elders the apostles on a, a, a on a Saturday oh, and it'll be cool it'll be cold up there and we will eventually feel it the next right, day right right how is how is Texas which is much closer in single digits single digit numbers and we don't feel it Atlanta too I mean, the southern states Atlanta they were cold too well how does Florida not catch it oh, how are we 90 degrees down there it felt like summertime you know what I'm saying? It felt like that's how you know what was going on was being manipulated by Esau, man. That was a controlled hit. You know, Esau, you gotta, you gotta have everybody flocking down here. You know, because that, with that right. cold, that's gonna lead to everybody flocking up Florida. Right, you know, mm -hmm. building up Florida's money. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of seniors, a lot of seniors and stuff like that come down because they want to escape uh, the cold of the northern states. I did read an article saying a lot of people are, uh, are, are, are moving to Florida now. No. And they was trying to get, they was, people was trying to get up out of uh, uh, Texas. You had, uh, I, I call him Ted Cruz, C-R-U-I-S-E. Because he, hey, as soon as he heard about that weather, Ted Cruz got the hell up out of there, man. He went to Cancun. You know what I'm saying? He, he like, oh, I, I got to get up out of this mess. And that's supposed to be your representative. All right? Right. When you, so, like, let, let's say uh, the apostles are our representatives, all right, for the nation of Israel. If, it's, if they people going through the cold, they going through the cold with us. Yeah, how much are going through the cold with us? You know, they 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 uh they they going through the the turmoil and the tragic and the tribulation with us. But when they uh, representative came down, they said, "Hey yo, Ted Cruz, said, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going somewhere warm, man. All right, that's an Edomite for you, man. You got it, right? Hebrews 11, 24. Yep. I think Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Hamashim Yamshak than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That's right. So just like in the time of Moses, Moses rather endured with the Israelites and knowing that he Moses said, hey, Moses could have lived a good life up in that palace. All right. He could have had no problems. All right. Living a life up in, the, up in the palace, all the riches. But he said he'd rather suffer the affliction with his people. Uh, all right? Because it's only that, that was only going to be for a season, man. But what we're looking for is eternal glory, man. All right? We're looking for immortality. So you got to suffer through this. With, you're supposed to suffer through with your people, man. Ted Cruz said, nah, I'm about to go on a cruise. I'm about to get on this plane. I'm about to get the hell up out of here, man. You know? It's John 10 and 13. Actually, 
I'll start at verse uh, 12. John 10 and 12. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, who owns the sheep or not, see if the wolf coming and leaving the sheep. That's right. Hey, that's that's uh, a lot of these uh, false peak pastors and teachers out here. All right. Uh, but that the Ted Cruz is a prime example of that, man. All right. He's a hireling. Literally, he's a hireling because we know that in those governmental jobs, you get paid to do a service. Right. right? You get paid. They get they get buku money for that. So he's like, hey, man, I'm getting the hell up out of here. I get, you know, I'm going to take this money that they pay me so I can leave. So he's a hireling. He all right. He really care about people. Yeah. And the wolf was that, that cold weather. Right. All right. So when the wolf came, he said, nah, he fled. He didn't care about the sheep. He didn't care about the people of Texas. All right. So when you people, when you're, 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 uh, your, your governors and your senators and they start to depart when things get hard. I don't know why you shot. Everybody's making a big thing. Why are you shot? He's a hireling, man. You got it, bro. All right, this is uh, Psalms 118, verse six. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Jumping down to eight. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Mm -hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord and to put confidence in princes. Uh, and the mayor said that only the strong will survive. Y'all on your own. He did, he did, bro. I forgot about that. He did. He said only the strong can survive. And that that's that's an Edomite mentality, really. Because that that's uh um I forget the guy that came up with that. But that's kind of goes with Darwinism. You know what I'm saying? Evolution. Only the strong uh, can survive. You know what I'm saying? Y'all on your own. But hey, look, that's the thing. E e Edomites, they ain't going through no real trenches. No. All right, they don't really uh, know how it is to go through tough times. All right, but we've been through that, so we, hey, you know, Jake will be out there, hey, man. We gonna we gonna make it work. Uh, we gonna find a way, you know. But that, that's real. We we not been doing that. They whole life. they whole life, man. In the worst of conditions, man. Yeah. Finding a way to live, man. Yeah. All right, it, that's what he said. The more they afflicted us, the more we grew. So that that that's beautiful, man. No matter how much that the Lord gave us a, a so much of a beautiful spirit. No matter how hard of conditions we in. We still, we that rose that grows in the concrete, man. All right? No matter what condition we in, we still going to flourish. You know? This is Psalm chapter 9, in verse 9. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, also will be a refuge for the oppressed. Okay? Who's being oppressed here in America? The so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It says, a refuge in the time of trouble. See, but the Lord, he's only going to be a refuge for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord, he going to leave two thirds out there to die. All right, they ain't going to have no heads of protection because 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 they 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 decided not to seek Yahweh by Shema All right, verse 10. And they know thy name, like, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. You see, so the Lord, he, he, he not going to forsake the ones that, 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 that's diligently seeking him. The Lord, he, he's not slack concerning his promise. All right. So the Lord, he, he, he going to make, he going to make, um, he going to make do with what, what he said. You know, if you seeking him, the Lord, he got your back. All right. But the ones that don't seek him, the ones that, that, that want to join hand in hand with this wicked. All right. They, 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 they going to die the death. Of, of, of Esau and, and, and the wicked. Uncircumcised. Uh, uncircumcised. And that's going to be a horrible What's death. up, man? I mean, yes, this is me. That was uh, George, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said yeah, good yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, that's George. Come on, man. If there are any other trinities, a false doctrine. A long time ago. It's true. Right. Yeah, right. that trinity is a false doctrine, man. You know, they, they they try to put that out into the world, you know. Trying people into worshiping the wrong God. That's it. Worship that's it. Somebody that is in yep. When when you know when the, the the scriptures clearly say that the Messiah, who the world even calls Jesus, he constantly gave glory to his father. He always be directed to his father. Always. Will, but the will of my father that yeah. sent me. That's right, right, brother. You know, so that's the thing. He always redirects, and that's what we do, all right? When people try to come up and they say, hey, you brothers are well versed in the scriptures, we say, all praise to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Uh -huh. We give praises up to our Lord and, and his father, man. Okay, that's how you. That's that's. I come not that, to do my will, but the will of Him who sent me. That's right. Ooh, that's yeah. right. That's right, man. And that's that's how. So of you, of he was of the Holy Trinity. Uh, was um. Who was he praying to? Exactly. Who was he praying himself? That's narcissism, man. All right. That, that's that's self worship. Of you going, he went into the when it said he uh go give me Matthew four real quick. What about the council you know. I see a, uh, yeah, when he when he was in the wilderness. All right, when he went to go pray. All right, he was out there praying to himself. 
asking himself to deliver himself. Why is God praying if he's Matthew God? Mm -hmm. This is uh, Matthew 4, verse 1. Then was Yahweh Shah led up of the spirit into the wilderness mm -hmm. to be tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of Yahweh, command. Hold on, hold on, wait, what? If thou be who? If thou <laughs> be the son of Yahweh. So the, the, the devil just said, if thou be the son of the most high. So this let you know that he's the son of the power. He, he didn't say, oh, you're God yourself. All right. Say that. Well, say that. Be That's what I'm, Exactly. Say, say you're not tempting the most high. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Most high said. Exactly. Go ahead. Command that these stones be made bread. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, it is, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the most high. All right. So, hey, it, it said man shall not live by bread alone. That's how we know in the times that we're coming in, we're going to live based on these words, man. We're going to live based on the words that the Lord gave. He said, but out of the mouth of the most high, which he's talking about his father again, because like we said, reading this Bible is like reading the thoughts in the mind of the heavenly father, man. All right. So that's how you're going to live, man. So he was constantly giving glory to his father. There was another one in there that I thought I wanted. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is how you know. Let, let, brothers, if y'all can find more I scriptures. My God and your God. Mm -hmm. That's another scripture. I said to my father and your father, my God. Uh, what are you saying? My Lord said to my, your, my Lord said to uh, my Lord. Psalm 110, Psalm 110. See the right, right hand thing. Right, right. Tool, and it's tool for feet. Yeah. That's right. Read, read verse 10, brother. Come. Matthew 4, verse 10. And it says, Then saith Yahweh Shah unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. That's right. Hey, he said, Him only thou shalt serve. He said, The Lord thy power. But he's talking about his father. Why do you call me good? Why do you call me good? That's right. He said, No one is good but the Father which is in heaven. <laughs> All right. Why do you call me? Why you call me good? How is he so, called that? Exactly. So that holy trinity nonsense is gone, man. You know, we're about to get another verse in Matthew 12 and 50, which lets you know that it's all about. No man has seen the father. No, hey, <laughs> that's right, brother. No man has. It is cuts. These are cuts. These are straight cuts to the uh, these doctrines that's out here to that holy trinity. Peter Bart Ehrman, sir. John, John chapter six and verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Mm -hmm. Say, so that's, it said, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Mm -hmm. Draw him. See? Yep. Hey, you can't. You, that's the thing. You can't. You got it. The Heavenly Father. He, or the Messiah knows that the Heavenly Father is the one in control. All right? But it's only you people and your, your doctrines that think that, oh, that they're one entity, man. All right, they're not one entity. All right, they're one in understanding. One all right, agreement, they, right? They, they, right. they're in agreement. Okay, they're in but agreement. All the disciples are one as you and the, as the Father are one. That's that's what the scriptures say. Uh, like uh, what's going on, man? That's uh, that's what First Corinthians uh, what's that? One and ten. Second Corinthians one and ten that says that as well. You know, it says uh, let there be no divisions among you, man. All right, but we speak the same thing. So just like uh, the Messiah is in agreement with the Heavenly Father, we're in agreement with the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. And that's the spirit that you have to come in. You can't be like, oh, well, the Bible says don't eat pork. But you know what? I think it's okay to do. That's that's your own mind, man. It's like you're trying to establish your own righteousness. Who got Matthew 12 and 15? Huh. They always try to justify the whole uh, dietary thing, man. By saying just pray over it. John 10 30, I'm the father of one, but he that he not like his disciples of one. Yep. That's true. That's true. It's Matthew chapter That's 12. It's Percy. It's Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. And for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Read that again, brother. Matthew 12 and 20. 12 and 50. 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my father. For whosoever shall do the will of my father. Of my, see, that's to let you know. He said, for whosoever shall do the will of my father. Go ahead, bro. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Right, because the Lord, our Messiah was. He was here on earth. That's exactly what I'm about to say, brother. He was here on earth. 
So he's letting you know we're not the same person. Yeah, he's in heaven. Yeah. He's saying, you know, on earth, he was on earth at the time he said that. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. That's right. So he said, whoever do the will of his father, that's who my true family is, man. Which lets you know those are the people that are in agreement with the Lord. Okay? That do the will of his father, man. All right? He, you know his father set the rules, man. All right? Yahweh Shah was just used as the instrument to bring forth his work and his wisdom. Okay? But he, he knows that his father is the one, that he's the, he's the designer. He's the architect. Okay? Yahweh Shah was used as the vessel to bring forth his righteousness. And now we're in that same state. Let him get here. His, his then you can get yours, brother. This is uh, Matthew 17, starting at verse 5. And while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. That's right. It says, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. So the he this is the heavenly father uh, showing reverence to his son, man. All right. Come on. You know? Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. Don't let the Edomite pull you away. Read it, brother. Yeah, yeah. Read it, brother. Learn your Hey, don't let them pull you away. Hey, you a man, bro. You a man. You overpowered him, bro. See? You gonna let them overpower you, man. You know you stronger than you, man. Them demons, man. You gonna, you gonna let a girl with pink hair pull you away from your roots, man. This is crazy, man. That's a shame. He know he's stronger than all of them. He just going, he could yank all three of their asses up, man. You know? Woman worship, though. This is the land that we living in, man. You know, the man was trying to learn about his history. He walking with three Edomites, and they're tell, taking him away from the history of the Bible. You people better learn out that the Heavenly Father and His Son about to return and judge this place, man. And all you people that don't understand this truth are going to get judged, man. You know? They didn't. We know this, man. They didn't. They ain't listen to Noah, right? They, they, they said, Noah ain't, a, ain't, no, ain't no rain coming, Noah. All right? They didn't listen to none of them. That's the thing. That's what uh, First, First Chronicles uh, 36 and 16 says. But they despised the messengers of the Most High, man. All right? They killed him, stoned him. That's right, man. They all, all of the men, men that were trying to tell you about what's coming, people always despise them. All right? That's what. That's when you read Amos. It says uh, uh, they hating those that rebuke it in the gate, man. You know? We're trying to tell the people who they are and what's about to happen to the world, but they trying to pull them away, man. As it's happening. As it's happening. As it's happening, we're telling our people like, yo, repent. You you are pretty much, you see the danger. He you, said, he said, I just want to read the sign. They could have gave, gave him one minute, but that, they, that's, the, that's the devil for you, man. Huh. All right? They will try to pull you away from that. You want anybody to know the truth. Of course not. Of course not. And, and those are witches because they control him sexually. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Mark 4 and 14. The sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately mm -hmm. and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. See that? See that? That's what that was. The brother was trying to find out the history of the Bible. He was trying to find out his lineage. He was trying to find out what this Bible is really talking about. But this, ooh, the, the wicked, all right? Satan means adversary, all right? The deceiver came and tried to pull him away immediately, man. All right? They could have gave him 30. It take 30 seconds to read your sign, man. They could have gave that man 30 seconds. Hey, but that lets you know he, he's taken over by them seducing spirits, too. He was a he was a strong dude, man. He could have yanked all three of them easily, man. You know? But in the time we're living in, men let their women control them. All right? And those probably weren't even his women. They probably just some women. He, one of them he wanted to hit or something, man. You know? You got something, bro? Zechariah 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. And stop the ears that they should not hear. Yep, and they pulled away the shoulder. So we give me uh Jeremiah 6 and 16. That's the thing. We come out and try to tell everybody what the Bible is talking about. Because your churches have been lying to you for decades and generations, man. Yeah. Centuries. Oh. And now we're telling you the truth of it, but you don't want to hear it, so you pull away your shoulder, man. Go ahead, read Jeremiah 6. That's right. That's right, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, Jer don't want even to live. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Six, six and 16. Oh, six. Sorry. You know? This, this is what we're, we're out here for, man. To tell the world the truth that the Messiah is coming back, man. Soon. And he's about to judge you people for your wickedness. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, stand ye in the way and see and act for the old path. Mm -hmm. Where is the good way? And walk therein. That's right. So this this is the good way, man. 
Everybody want to know what what is this? All your questions. Everybody go to go to all your. Hey, come. Let me go to my teacher. Let me go to my sensei. Let me go to my spiritual master. You say, hey, the scripture. When you read Isaiah thirty and twenty, it says, "Thine eyes shall see thy teachers, man." It says they shall not be removed into a corner anymore. So you ain't got to go to a church or a school. You gonna hear it openly in the streets. The scriptures say wisdom prieth out in the streets, man. You supposed to stand and ask for the old paths. All right, the the ancient ways. Okay, you gotta know where you're from to know where you're going, man. Go ahead, brother. Where is the good way and walk therein? Yep. And ye shall find rest for your soul. Right. You, that's how you're gonna find rest for your souls. Because the Messiah said, Come unto me, ye that are heavy laden and burdened, and I shall give you rest, man. Go ahead, bro. But they said, We would not walk therein. That's what you people say. Predominantly, this is speaking about the two thirds of our people, you so called blacks, Negroes, and uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and those that are scattered abroad that may look like the other nations. But your ethnicity and your descendant truly go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Y'all say we won't walk therein. Y'all going to keep eating pork. Y'all going to keep being wicked. Y'all going to keep being adul uh, adulterers and idolaters. You're going to keep snorting cocaine and smoking weed. You're not going to change your ways because you're too proud, man. All right? This, this, give me Isaiah 30 and 20 while we're at it. And somebody give me uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. Come on, go ahead, brother. Bring it out. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the, the Heavenly Father, he's going to give you true pastors according to, because these pastors in the church, if you read Jeremiah 23, it says they they they, 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 they lead the sheep astray. He said he's going to give you true pastors according to his mind and his heart, like which is... Yeah, Jesus That's right. That's right. They, they want to take the people away from the truth, but the scriptures say... And I shall give you the truth, uh, and the truth shall make you free, man. All right? Uh, who got Isaiah 30? Isaiah 30 and 20. You know, because we're living in the times where the truth is about to prevail, man. Go ahead, bro. I got, no, this is uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 6, verse 14. And it says, they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there when is no peace, peace, man. There is no peace for these people, man. That's all right. There's no peace coming, man. Politicians push peace. All right. Everybody thinking America about to get better. Right. Oh, oh, COVID hit. Everything yeah, America's gonna get. No, that like I always say. If y'all saw that Deontay Wilder fight last year, this is the air shot to America, man. It's not coming back. America is not gonna be great again, man. This place is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. That's Thus right. said the Bible, man. Right. This place is not going to get better. It is not healed. It won't be healed, man. All right, it's taking a critical hit, and it's only going to get worse from here on out, man. All right, uh, Isaiah 30. Somebody get that check? The water, brother. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord. Actually, Salakia, uh, read, nine, read, read 9 and 10 first, and then jump over to 20. Jeremiah 9. Huh. This is not Jeremiah. Isaiah. Isaiah 9. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 30 and chapter 9. Chapter 30, yeah. verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that would not hear the law of the Lord. That's right. This, that's what, the two thirds of our people are predestined for destruction and judgment because they will not listen to the words and the laws of the Heavenly Father. So he says they are preordained to be judged and destroyed. All right. But in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be reborn. But hey, who want to get hit by a nuclear missile just to get reach the kingdom of heaven, man? All right. You, it says that fire is going to be so bad. It's going to melt your eyes. It's going to melt your tongue out of your mouth, man. And your spirit is still gonna reside in your flesh. That's how bad the judgment is coming to America, man. That's burning hot air, man. That's right. When you breathe it in, your whole inside is gonna start melting. Radiation, man. When y'all get a chance, look up uh, the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. And see how the people got blew away. It's yeah. gonna be worse than that here, man. And that's the initial impact. Yep. What about outside the impact zone where you're melting? Okay? It's not gonna be a beautiful death like everybody thinks it's gonna be. Skin burning off. Skin burning off, man. <laughs> well, that come meat off the bone, baby. <laughs> Go, uh, uh, let him finish on this. Uh, verse 10, Isaiah 30 and 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us worthy. things. So why, why would a people say this? They didn't want to hear the truth. They said That's they wanted to hear something else. That's it. You see, it says prophesy not. It's, well, hey, so that lets you know that the prophesies, the prophets in your church, the false prophets, are prophesying lies. Because he says, because we're telling the truth. So they say, hey, no, y'all, we see, want to hear nice ears. things. See, that's right. Ears. That's right. It's your ear. They want to hear the lies. That's, that's, lies are comfortable. 
You know what I'm saying? If your boy said, hey, I saw your woman uh, dealing with another man, you like, nah, bro, she ain't doing that. Bro, I saw her having sex with the dude. The false you... ones were the ones that didn't sound the warning. That's right. Uh, that's, that's right. The, ones that the, warning. the scriptures talk about the watchmen upon thy walls, man. And men, it say we got to... We got to give the trumpet. We got to sound the trumpet. We got to let the people know that danger is coming, man. All right? Uh, yeah, so con the continue on. Too. Same thing. Hold on, Hold on one second, brother. Want. One second, brother. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 10 says, We'll say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Right. That's what they want. Prophesy deceits, man. Right. They want people to prophesy lies and witchcraft. Now jump over to verse 20. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, mm -hmm. but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. That's right. Your eyes are going to see your teachers. So when you got these pet parades and events going on down here, you're going to see your teachers, man. So you don't have to. You don't, and that's the thing. In America, what they teach you, in order to get education, you got to pay thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars in order to get educated. But the Heavenly Father said, hey, come ye and buy this for free. Uh, All right? Come ye and get this water and, wine and milk for free, man. All right? He says, uh, tr uh, uh, liberally have I given, freely, sh freely have I given, freely ye shall receive, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. You got scripture? It's Jeremiah 23, uh, verse 21. I have, not sent the, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. But if they had stood in my council and had called my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil of their doing. That's right, man. So, it, the, those are the false, the false prophets, the men that are telling lies. All right, the, all they these. That's how you know a, a false a man is a false prophet. He got a shaved face. He's telling you it's okay to eat pork chop. It's okay to come as you are. Let me tell you people something. Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus will not accept you as you are. That is a lie, man. Yes. You have to repent and change your ways yes. in order to be accepted of the Heavenly Father. Yes. Right. You can't keep being wicked and think you can just come as you are, man. No. All right? That's not, that's not where mercy lies. Yes. Mercy yes. lies is when you're trying and then the Heavenly Father has mercy on you for it, man. Those are precepts of men. Yep. That's not according. That's not thus saying the Lord. The Lord didn't say that. All right, but somehow, some way, two thirds of our people has has eaten that up from generation to generation. Come as you are. That's all I heard growing up, man. Oh, you come as you too. are. Come as you are. I heard yep. that too. God loves everybody. That's not true. That's not true. God that, don't love everybody. It's not true. It says it up and down through the Bible. He, he says. He, he says, uh, nor the effeminate sodomites are not going to receive the kingdom of heaven. God. He said that in the New Testament. So when you say come as you are and then a homosexual walk up in your church, if that pastor don't say you need to change your ways and become straight, that right. pastor's going off, man. Yes. All right. The you Lord created man to be with woman and woman to be with man, man. Right. Held accountable. He, hey, the scriptures say uh, if, he, if he don't warn a man of his wicked ways, then the he blood shall be upon his hands, man. Right. The second Chronicles chapter seven and verse 14. If my people which are called by my name, Israel, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal, and will heal their land. Yes. 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 See, so the, the, the heavenly father, all right, he says the people that are called by his name, which are the Israelites, okay? He says my name in Judah is the most high known, man. Uh, the Israelites are known by the Most High's name. He says, "If you come and change your ways, then you gon' then you gon' uh, I'ma heal you and I'ma heal your land because we ain't from over here, all right? We're not Americans. Whoever told you the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man is that's it. He says they call they call a, uh, they call their lands after their own names, man. All right. So at the, at the end of the day, we are the Most High's people. In order to be received of Him, you gotta change, man." You people live your whole life. Oh, I'm about to be a millionaire. I'm about to be a baller. I'm about to be do that. Y'all will change for the world, but you won't change for the most high, man. You got it. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right? For the Lord, he, he's only available for, for a limited time. All right? When tribulation comes, he won't be available. When tribulation comes, he ain't going to be available. Too late. 
Yeah. You know how they have like uh, deals and stuff, yeah, limited yeah, time yeah, only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the Lord's mercy, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. God. Verse seven: Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta, when you come, to, when you come and and, and um and, and, and you. Start and you coming to seek the Lord, you gotta change your way. Mm -hmm. Alright? So if you're a sodomite, hey, you gotta you gotta you gotta quit return. Doing quit doing that. Yep. But yep. you gotta quit doing that. If you're yep. smoking weed, you're fine. Isaiah 118. Uh, That's another one. God, and he say you're gonna throw your uh sins into the depths of the sea, he's not gonna remember your sins anymore. Alright? So just in this lifetime, you know how much times we went off, you know how much uh sin that we committed? Alright, but if you come to serve the Lord and and, and uh forsake your wicked way, you know you change your way. Hey, the Lord gonna have mercy upon you. That's right. That, that was intentionally, man. The, our, our enemies done that intentionally to make sure that we keep sinning against our power, man. Yep. Keep sinning against our Lord. That's what the devil wants. See, that's what the devil wants you to do, man. Yep. You know, so, so the most I can continually judge you, judge you, man. That, that's programming, man. You know, right. ever, ever since we were young, they program our minds. Somebody sent me a picture of Mickey Mouse and uh, Bugs Bunny uh, doing like the Baphomet pose today, man. Yes. You saw that, man? You, you see what I'm saying? Do you agree the devil is the ruler of the world? Absolutely. Said, yes. Absolutely. But, the, but see, the, what, okay. what do you mean by the devil? The devil's been ruling the world since the Garden okay, of Eden. Okay, so do you, mean, do you mean Satan or do you mean there's a man, a group of people? It kind of works through both. Oh, okay, I can understand that. So the, 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 the th That's right. Give me uh, Job 9 and 24. So the, the, uh, the so-called white nation are the uh, physical counterparts of the spiritual uh, spirit, Satan. Okay, so they're doing his work on uh, on the earth, which is really the Heavenly Father's work because he deals with the right hand and the left hand. There's a group of people who are orchestrating all of these things, using that left hand witchcraft. The devil, What'd you say? They're influenced by the devil. They're influenced by the devil. That's because the Heavenly Father's... The, the heavenly, okay, so the, the so-called white nation, the reason that they were created, okay, when you understand the Bible, the Edomites were created to be the wicked of the earth, huh, all right, right, to punish us for our doings. Because we are supposed to be the most high's children. So basically, the Lord fashioned a belt. Okay? He, he said, what is, what, what, you know, when, you, when we were young, all right, uh, as young uh, jits, what would your parents do? They would, spank you. they would spank you, yes. right? They would pull out their belt and spank you. Now, so in order, is. how do you do that to a whole nation of people? You can't just, the Lord can't come down here with a belt and just beat everybody that's wicked. He needed another group of people that was going to be wicked and spank us. So the people that are doing it are the Edomites. So they're the, go ahead, brother. Got that the Come. Psalms chapter 17 and 13. Mm -hmm. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see that? He said, uh, disappoint him, the wicked, which is thy sword, the so-called white nation. It says he shall live by the sword. All right? So the sword of the Heavenly Father is the Edomites. This is how you know the so-called white man is the wicked. Okay? If you want to be successful in this world, who you got to go to? Who do you got to go to and sell your soul to? <laughs> mm -hmm. who, who represents Satan on this earth? Yep. The so-called white man. Right. Because you all, because he controls the industries, man. Yep. Ain't going to be no so-called black, Hispanic, or Native right. American man calling his shots. Come on, man. All right? <laughs> he's going gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna to be in a Malachite. All right? A so-called Jew or Edomite, man. Yeah. All right? That, that's obvious yeah but for the two for the for the for the unbelievers of our people it's not so obvious man because mm -hmm. they're they're asleep yep yeah. uh you, you had yeah, something like in the time let's of, see bond is the rest of the time when he was tempted you know he said come down and uh, come and worship me and I'll, and I'll give you uh, the whole world right mm -hmm. the kingdom of the world i think it's right. acts of me and i shall give you the nations for an inheritance and a possession yeah, uh, uh, I don't want you have something. Yeah, offer all the governments to Christ. Yeah, yeah. In the second, after you get here, you can get your that joke. Isaiah 10 and 5, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, mm -hmm. and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Mm -hmm. Hey, that, that's really uh, talking about the Edomites, man. All right? So they, they, they are the rod of his, uh, uh, his, his anger, man. All right? They bring forth his wrath, man. Okay? That, that, that's because the Heavenly Father is, uh, he's, He's magnificent in his thought process, man. All right? That's how you know how great of a man he is. Now, when you got people walking around and you thinking, you know, these so-called white people, they ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? They can't be the most high's whooping stick. He says, because we have disobeyed him, he shall set us under the bases of men, man. All right? That's how you know. That, that's a terrible feeling, man. Walking around being oppressed by an Edomite. And in the kingdom, y'all going to see how low the Edomites are, man. 
And then two thirds of our people are gonna be like, God damn, how do we ever like these dudes? They roaches. The Edomites are roaches. That's like you bound down to a roach when they walk into your when you walk into the house, man. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you got the roasting. <laughs> I forgot about the roasting. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's a funny conversation. If y'all ever talk to this brother, talk about this brother, and the, the, what are you going to do with the roaches in the kingdom, man? That's some funny uh, shit right there. Uh, <laughs> but go ahead and get that Job when you get a chance, huh? This is uh, Job chapter 9, <laughs> verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Mm -hmm. If not... Where and who is he? That's right. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. So who's the rule? Now we have to identify who's ruling the earth. Is it the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man? No. no. Is it the so-called Asian man? No. no. Is it the so-called African man? No. It's the so-called white and so-called Jewish man. All right? It says the earth is given unto them, man. All right? How do we know this? Isn't their, their currency system is used by all the nations in the world? Yep. Their military is the same type of military that's used all over the world. The greenback, man. Okay? Everybody, all the other nations mimic Esau, man. Because they know Satan is working with Esau, man. Hey, and this is how you know that chip is going to be really pushed by Babylon. Because that's that's Edomite's currency, too. That chip, huh. it might as well have an a Edomite face on it, man. Huh. All right? going to put that basically got Chessy well, face all on it, man. Too. That's their image, that's man. Part of that's a part of their image. So that, that's his, hey, hey when, you, when you, the Lord said whose superscription is on this, that's Edomite technology, man. Edomite uh, uh, ideology and doctrine on that chip, man. All right? And the brother uh, Zion did a, a lesson. He said, y'all say it's spiritual. In a the movie, they got this dude's hand and literally got cut open, and they took a chip out of it, man. All right? And then they put it in a bottle, and they slid it across the table, man. That's going to be the destruction of you people, man. Taking that chip, man. And it don't matter if it's in the right hand. Hey, you know, sometimes when you look at my scripture, you're like, you can't find it. But I remember Pastor R was like, uh, it doesn't, it, you know, that uh, Revelation 13 and 16 says the right hand. But I was looking for, I'm like, it says the left hand too. But Revelation 14 and 9, all right? It does not, it just says hand, all right? <laughs> it just says hand and forehead, which lets you know that anywhere in your body you take it, you through. All right? You can go ahead and read it if you want. 14 and 9, come. Now, this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehand or in his hand. You see that? So it didn't say right hand. So people are like, well, I don't, what do I get in my left? All right, go ahead, man. All right? Because you, also understand hand is symbolic with your power. All right? All right, it's with your vessel. All right, the Lord says the kingdom of the Most High is within you. So if you put a chip in your body, you've now given over the kingdom of the Most High to the, to the kingdom of Esau, man. And the basis word, of all men. Yep. The word receive, receive it here is edifying too. Okay. Huh. You know, but this, this, this is the times that we're living in, man. All right, this is the times that we're living in where people about to be walking around with sores on their head because they chipped up out here, man. Yep. All right, uh, this is, uh, what's the word for receive? Uh, it says lombano in the Greek. It says to take, to take with the hand, lay hold of any person or thing in order to use it. All right. And what are they going to be using that for? It says they got to use it to buy and sell. Right. right. So they're going to be using it for currency. They're going to be using it to get into their cars, into their houses, to start up their Tesla. All right. This is how you know these people about to become beasts because all of the animals already got chips. And all, and all the technology is leading up to that. We can see it everywhere that we go when we shop. You know, the cars, all these things are based off of RFID technology. Yeah. And and that's how uh, there was. I was also reading this thing about how RFID technology is becoming uh, the greatest it's ever been. Uh, the amount of money because they might it might not be chip looking right now. It might be like your car now. So you used to have to put your chip in. Now you can tap it. Right. You can tap your card on there, and now it'll go, man. You know. But uh, they also this is that RFID technology is going to a high level. It says uh, to take up a thing or to be carried. That's gonna be able to go with you everywhere, man. It says uh, to take up one upon oneself. Uh, so if you take that chip any part of your body, all right, you, I'm putting it in my kneecap. Go ahead, bro. All right, you still got the chip. It says to take in order to carry away, all right, to take what is one's own, to take one's own self, to make one's own, to claim, procure for oneself, to associate with oneself as companion. Uh, let's see. It says uh, to take by craft, 
to circumvent one by fraud. And that's what Esau is going to be doing. But he's going to get real blatant with it soon. It says uh, to take possession of, to catch at, reach after, to strive to obtain. It says to strive to obtain. These people are going to be getting in line uh, to get it, man. And what also trains your mind is when you walk into like these stores like Target and Walmart, you got these so-called metal detectors on the side every time you go in and you come out. Now, you can still have a weapon on you and still walk into these stores, okay? You just can't take those weapons into like what? Government, uh, government places. How come those things don't go off when you walk into their stores with a gun? Because they're programming your mind to walk in between something and let it scan you. So if you have that mark, they already know who's coming into the store and who's not. You know? That's how they got that Amazon Go store they set up. Right. It's like in order to walk in or walk out, you gotta you just scan your hand, uh, pay your phone pass. All right, they're, they're programming you. But let me just get these last couple words. It says to take, to admit, to receive, to receive what is offered. Okay, uh, I forgot what movie that was. Uh, Altered Carbon. On Altered Carbon, they saw people getting stacks in their hands. All right. But it said that the, uh, the uh, envoy's uh, uh, motto was, we take what is offered. All right? That's you people going to be taking that chip, man. It says, uh, not to refuse or reject. Okay? And who are the only ones that are going to be refusing or rejecting it? The elect. It says, uh, I'm going to get these last ones. It says, uh, to take, to choose, to select, to receive what is given, to gain, to get, to obtain. You see that? So these, these people are, the water, brother. These people are about to be taken and obtaining that chip, man. It's gonna be a complete, it's gonna be complete hysteria in America, man. All right, all out chaos, man. You know, we living under, hey, like the brother, uh, uh, the head brother out in Louisiana, he said they die, we living under a diabolical nation, man. They diabolical demons, man. But uh, somebody had to raise their hand. Okay, go ahead, brother. Just uh, backing up on who the wicked are, this is Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build in desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. That's right. So we, we know that that was uh, predominantly speaking about the Renaissance period, the rebirth of the Edomites. But we know that, that he said the Edomites are the border of wickedness, man. Wherever you go, the, uh, the so-called white man is near, near. You know some wickedness about to go down, man. Always deceiving. Yep. You know, the lying, stealing, okay? Always screwing somebody over, man. Go up to Saul. No, he doesn't. But go ahead. Have a good day. What? What are you trying to say? You drunk? No, I'm just doing an ass game. Are you, have you been drinking? All right. He said, that's right. That's right, brother. You're in the spirit. He said, always. <laughs> yeah, she's faded, man. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day, man. Of course we do. <laughs> Don't you see all these men with Bibles in their hands? Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like God loves us all. He doesn't. That's not true. That's what you say. That's, that's, that's what scripture is there. That's that's not true. That's a lie. What scripture is there? I'm, I'm, that's why I'm wondering. Like, I'm, I'm very, like, I'm curious why you guys think I... Yeah, okay, real quick, let's just get it. Uh, Romans I'm curious. 9, 9 and 13. Isn't that why you're doing this? So nope. you give, to, like, give information to people on the street? We are to, to, yes, we are. So, but we're, we're not out here for everybody, though. That's the thing. The, no, the, but I'm curious. I love that. Hey, we're about to read a verse for you. Go ahead, brother. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Mosai just said himself he hates somebody. So if he loves everybody, why would he say that? And this is not talking about one man. This is talking about a nation of people. So he said he loves. So what's your he, stance here? Like, what's you guys are We're like, talking about the end of days. We're talking about the Messiah making his return to the earth. And he's going to save one third of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And all the Israel, all the uh, other nations, such as this, starting with the so-called white nation, are going into slavery under us. That's right. what we're talking about. According to the Bible, this is thus said the Heavenly Father. But see, they told you in your churches that God loves everybody and the Messiah loves everybody. But the Messiah himself said that he's only coming to save the children of Israel. He said out of his mouth several times. But we know that nobody reads in America. All right. Nobody understands in America. You've been but taught so many lies. Bible. Jesus didn't write the Bible. So you don't you don't even believe. So why, why even I have this conversation believe. with us? Other people wrote it. So, so is, are, are the Messiah's words written in the Bible? Yes or no? I think that other people yes no. Are the Messiah's words written in the Bible? Yes or no? 
I think there yes is. Or no. Yes or no. Are the Messiah's words no, written in the disciples Bible? Disciples wrote the Bible. Disciples have a good day. We, we got, we done. She done. Disciples, we out of there. No, All right, uh, let's continue on, man. Yes. You know, well, you no, can, okay, you can listen if you want, but we're, we're done no, talking to you. Okay, you can listen if you want, but we're I'm done. I'm trying to be polite to you and have a mature conversation. And I, and I, we had that. We, we get listen. away. I didn't tell you get away. I said you can listen if you want, but we're done no, talking you. said I'm done with you. Have a good day. Yeah, That's not polite. Like, if you, you, you can't be preaching on the street. And have someone come to you and I'll be like, no, no, no. have a good day. You just call the disciples disciples. Why should we be talking to you? That's what I'm saying. You're being very rude. For that's somebody that's a- preaching on the street, you shouldn't be that rude. Uh, give me a uh, uh, rude you know, in speech. Yeah. What's that? Second yeah. Corinthians 6, 16 and 11? You're 11 all laughing, 6, but like 6. it's not. No, I'm going to get a scripture for you because saying. you. the thing is, you're, think you're worried about you're worried about, you're worried about how, you're not about to talk over me. That's not what's about to happen. So it's either you can, listen, you're not about to talk over me. So either you can listen or you can go. Guess it's not going to happen. You, this is Second Corinthians in my face. chapter 11 in my and verse face. 6. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. Right, so just because I talk the way that I do, just because I say the things that I say, me doesn't mean, rude. doesn't mean, that because you you used to shave face effeminate ass men. You used to these weak men out here that don't know how to, that let you talk to them however they want. That's why. But in the kingdom to come, you're not going to open your mouth like that. You're going to learn your place as a woman. That's why. Right. So that, that's the problem. You live in Babylon where these so-called white men and these weak ass so-called black men, you can just run them over and talk how you want. We are not, we are men. We ain't no pussy ass men out here. So when I talk like this, either you got to get in line or you can keep it pushing. She shook. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, hey, that's I the worst time to put in your place. She, she, right, she ain't never been put in her place. Her whole life, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ottawa. Rude is saying, rude is saying, anyone's ever said that in his life. Where he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribe. That's right. It says they were. This is the Messiah he's referring to. He said they were astonished at his doctrine because he spoke with authority. Her eyes just got big when she heard that because ain't nobody ever spoke to her with authority, man. Cursing me out on the street. Hey, the the Messiah was cursing people out, man. That's how you know you know the Lord. It says he was upbraiding men, man. I came to you with kindness. Hey, let's get that. What's that, uh, John? uh, The second chapter. You got that demon tattoo. Hey, you can't go there. If you say if you say you you, you are a uh, Christian, is that a, is that a demon? That is. That's a that's a demon soul. It's, it's dead. You're a dead yeah. body. You're a dead bone. Go ahead. Uh, what's that? John uh, two and fifteen. What's that? John two and fifteen. Keep, keep that hate in your heart. And this ain't hate. This is all love okay, that we feel. Just Isaiah fifty-eight and one. Cry aloud. Fear not. Lift up my voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sin. Yep. So, so we're, supposed to, be, we're supposed to be loud out here. I, we're supposed to be. We're supposed, we're supposed to be I wish Christian. you guys owe nothing but love and peace. We don't want your love. We don't want. We've gotten love from the so-called white nation. That's not fair. Like, that's no, not no, no. You don't see that's the thing. Y'all think y'all can give y'all love to anybody? We don't want your love. We've got all that's the love. Point. All the love that the so-called white nation has showed us is death. We don't want your love. We only want the love of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Because I'm white, you don't No, no, that's not white. You're an Edomite. It's not because you're white. It has nothing to do with your you skin color. You said that. You said I don't want your white love. I didn't say that. You're not white. You're red. All right, but go ahead. Let's get John 20. I, I wish you all yeah. peace, happiness, kindness, uh, John 2, verse 12. That's all of it. And it says, I, after I, I, this, I, I, I he went down to Capernaum. He and his mother I, and his brethren. Get ready for slavery. And his disciples. Right. And they continued there not many days. Right. So this is the Messiah. You you people think that Messiah is all about love. We about to show you what he, he did was. to the people. He man. was so yes. He was about love to the Israelites, and not all, not all Israel either, man. He was cutting Israel two thirds of our people too. He wanted he wanted. That's the thing. If you want a God that's all about all love, man. Why should you serve him? Because you can be bad as hell, and he gonna love you anyway, man. That's that, what that the said. That ain't discipline, well, he man. Taught, he taught, you know, he taught he's righteous and holy he, and without blemish. He, hey, see, that's the thing. If the Messiah was out on the streets today, you would see him out here standing with us doing the same thing. That's the thing. Y'all think the Messiah would be up in church looking like a so-called white man. I mean, if you, saw, if you saw who you angry called Jesus Christ on the street today, he will be out here with us. And right now he is with us. Because he said when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them, man. 
He will be out here doing this with us right now. That's how you know y'all don't understand the Messiah, man. When, when, they, when you hear Jesus Christ, they think Joel Osteen. Right, right. You know Joel, <laughs> hey, Joel Osteen said he loved everybody, but when Hurricane Katrina came, he said, you can't come in my church. Yeah. Hell out of here, man. Y'all think Joel Osteen. That's right, brother. That's Joel a good Osteen. example. He don't look like that. When you, The Messiah is a so-called black man who will be doing what we're doing right now if you saw him on the street. Right. Go ahead, brother. Christ right. sounded the warning. Uh, John 2 verse 13 and the Jews Passover was at hand and Yahushua went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves money and the changers of money yeah. sitting and when he had made a scourge of small cords he said he made a scourge of small cords so the Messiah just made a cat nine tails he made a belt what, 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 what is the Messiah what is uh, the Messiah so nice why did he make a belt to beat people? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Huh? Okay. Out of there. The he money drove changes. them all out of the temple. Oh, he said he drove temples. them out of the temple. All right? That means he did it with force, man. Go ahead. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money mm -hmm. and overthrew the table. Man, this is a bad man. This is a bad man. And bad, I don't mean deceitful. Bad, I mean he, he gets down. He's austere, man. All right? He coming in there flipping tables. Beating people, hitting animals, he he upset, he was pissed off, man. But this is the guy that she said God loves everybody, though, right? You know, conditionally. Hey, that's right, brother. Right. That's right. 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 He loves conditionally, man. Right. He has conditions to his to his love, man. If you obey my voice, Ooh, if the word right. yeah, if that's right, if that's right, man. If you obey my voice, that's the word. So if you can't just be thinking that he's just gonna love you and you gonna do whatever you want, man. That ain't love, man. All right. If your parents we discipline zone. That's if your if your parents, all right, don't discipline you, that means they don't love you. Okay? When you read Hebrews the 12th chapter, it talks about the chastening of the Lord, man. He said he beat he chastened those who he loves. He said he treats those as sons. Because if you don't get chastened, then you're a bastard, man. See, Edomites, they don't they don't chasten their children they like don't. Jacob do. So their children end up growing up being mass murderers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shooting down schools and stuff. Yeah. More last scene. All right. right. Yep. I just did a video on that yesterday. Right. Yeah. Molesting right. children, right. pedophiles. Right. All right. Doing all of this wicked stuff. All right. It's because as children, they just grow to do whatever the hell they want. Oh, just all you gotta do is love your child, and then other thing, they be saying they love their children. But these, either my parents be wicked, the children be wicked. It says as soon as they be born, they go forth speaking lies, man. Little babies, little Edomite babies out here just lying at birth. His first, his first words in Goo Goo Gaga is, I hate black men. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, bro. Psalm chapter 68, verse 35. Oh God, well, thou art your, terrible you know, we, out right. of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. You know, everybody says, you know, God is good. But nobody never says God is terrible, man. The scripture says countless times that that uh, that our that our God is terrible, man. He's gonna hold right. these religious leaders accountable, like he did in the ancient times. Right, right. Look at look at what the Lord did to us, man. All right, He put us into captivity. Uh, all right, He He fed us into gators. All right, that was all the will of the Lord. All right, so God is not Israelites. Y'all are Israelites. Y'all, y'all the true sons and daughters of the Most High. Do you agree? And it's proven in the scriptures. Do you agree that Revelation and Daniel use beasts as symbols to symbolize governments? Oh right, yeah. Revelation and Daniel use right. uh, symbolic beasts to symbolize uh, governments, like, like the bear, Rome, the dragon, dragon, and stuff like that. The, right. the, 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 the bear, six and five. The lion. Come and see the works of the Most High. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. That's right. The Lord is terrible, man. All right, you know, people getting their heads chopped off, car accidents, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord is terrible, man. It's all about balance. All right, the Lord is good. All right, but the Lord is also terrible in his mood. All right, the Lord is somebody that, that he should be terrified of. Man. All right, that's why we coming out here to tell you people to repent. All right, because the times we come in there, the Lord, the Lord is going to show how terrible he is. All right, you know, when the, when the Lord activates uh, these uh, these beasts out here, man. All right, it's gonna be anacondas out here eating people. Ooh, right, showing how bad the Lord is. It's some big ass snakes out here too, man. Uh, anacondas and boa constrictors. They be eating, they be eating uh, whole alligators in here. Yeah. And man, them snakes are stronger than most people think. Mm -hmm. Just because you see it on TV and people are handling them, yo, you gotta have some kind of strength. 
to handle a snake, man. Because what? How a snake adventures? How a snake catches its prey? Isn't it strength? It tightens you to the point where it breaks your bones, right. so that it can swallow you. That's how they can swallow you whole because it breaks all your bones and, and takes your oxygen away from you, man. Go ahead. Oh, uh, you know, but it was talking about uh, and it's doing towards the children of men, and that's really uh to the nations too because. When you look at some of the things that nations go through, you find these nations got real big heads or elephantitis. You know, they have all of these different things. That's because the Lord do things to the other nations that he don't even do to Israel, man. You know, he lets you know that they the heathen. You know, he still got compassion on two thirds of our people, man. You know, for the most part, you see Jake might be slow a little bit or got a disability or something. Every now and then, maybe in a wheelchair. But Jake don't, Jake don't really be like jack jacked up on a big level like that. Big ass head, yep. 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 You know, he got a got a bobble head <laughs> walking around, can't even carry his head. <laughs> right. That's right. It says the terror of the Lord is how we persuade men. The terror of the Lord is how we persuade men, man. So. Hey, that hey, old girl was shook. She was shook, bro. <laughs> she ain't never got talked to like that in her life. You know, and see, that's the thing, man. Th th these these people out here, they don't understand the heavenly Father, man. And see, that the Lord speaks through us. So when you when you get little moments like that, it's because they don't know the power of the Lord, man. What is that? You always knowing the scriptures or the power of the Most High? What you about to say, bro? I was gonna say she even said. That. I've never been so disrespected in my life. <laughs> right, right. She didn't even say that. That's what I'm saying. I did, bro. I just raised my voice a little bit. What the scripture say, man? Would it better if my father spit in her face, man? Woo! Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, it, it better, see? And they don't understand that. But that's because this society has taught our people to uh, belittle themselves. Right. Have taught you to be insecure. Taught you to be with low self-esteem. All right? As a young Jake, you brought up, besides your moms and your pops trying to instill a little confidence in you, our people will have low self-esteem of it's not for our, our pride of just trying to be men on our own. All right? Because this society makes us to have low self-esteem and low confidence, man. But now the Lord, the Lord is giving us the time where he's going to build us up, man. All right? He's building us up to be men. What's that? Get that Isaiah 46 and 8. And, and you're right with that, out because, like, you know, Jake, when they grow up, they, they have low self-esteem. You, you go to school, Jake is not the smartest in, in their class. You know, Jake not the smartest in their class. You know, Jake, uh, when Jake go to school amongst other Jakes, you know, uh, you know, Jake always riding on each other. Making funny. Riding on each other. So our, our self-esteem is low, but the Lord, he gave us his wisdom and understanding. So so he raised us back up, raised us back up on our feet. You know? We got our chest out now. Yep. Yep. All the time, as a young child, if you, if you, you know, I'm a big dude, so I used to play sports like a mug, but shit, I still wasn't the fastest dude. Oh shit, you slow. You know what I'm saying? Make fun of you because you slow. Make fun of you of you of you and even if you and then it don't matter what what area it's in. Even when you were intelligent in the classroom, Jake trying to ride on you for answering a question. It's like you can't win. <laughs> you can't win, bro. No matter what, if you intelligent, all right. Even if you fast, I'm like you fast. You ugly as hell. Like you know what I'm saying? Like no matter what you do, you shitty as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, people gonna ride on you. And so we so we had to grow with that. And it, it ultimately. It made us tougher, all right? But nonetheless, you can have low self-esteem walking in this, man. That's why the Lord has given us this word to build up our self-esteem, to know that we kings, man. So fuck what these people say. And then you got Edomite teachers, you know? Right. The Edomite teachers, they, they they treat Jake like shit. Yep. And, and, and in history class, when you learn about history, you, every time you learn about the so-called white man, it's always good things, you know, but when you learn about your you, own self, you know, it's, you it's slavery, slavery. Right? you know, you, <laughs> slave. you got to learn how to read, you know, everybody looking at you weird when, you, when, when it's black history. Mm -hmm. you know? Who got that Isaiah 46? Oh, Isaiah 46 and 8? I, I just wanted that real quick. I got uh, uh, 49. Oh, you can, bring, you can bring it out 59. if you want, bro. 59. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 59. 46 and 8. I was talking to him. Okay. I, Isaiah 59, verse 15, it says, Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased them that there was no judgment. Okay, we make ourselves a prey. Because when we walk in this world thinking that we're so-called black people, you know, we're ignorant, pan-sagging, 
you know, uh, 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 listening to hip hop, rap music all day, every day. The so-called white man is happy about that. But the moment we depart from evil, the moment we start serving the Lord and applying the wisdom, that's when we become, uh, we make ourselves a prey man because we choose to serve the Lord. And that's what the so-called white man doesn't want us to do because when we serve the Lord, it puts us on the highest level, okay? Despite what whatever Esau says coming out of his mouth, you we, we know that it's lies. If I see a dude sagging his pants, I already know he got low self-esteem. Right. I already know he's been conquered and defeated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that that that's, that that goes back to slavery and prison, man. All right. Which lets you know you can be conquered and dominated by another man. You know. So when a man sagging his pants, when a woman dressing like a harlot, y'all know that you got low self-esteem, man. So now through this through the Bible, we're now getting uh, our esteem back. We're getting our confidence back, man. All right, it says uh the words of the Lord are our confidence, man. Confidence. What what's the scripture you, you just quoted? You still talking about confidence, brother? Uh fear the Lord is strong. Yeah, yeah, that's it, bro. Con. This is Proverbs 14 and verse 26. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, mm-hmm. and his children shall have a place of refuge. That's right. The fear of the Lord is strong confidence, man. And see, what, what it also say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So when you start getting knowledge and wisdom, you start having a confidence in who you are. All right? Because the Lord, the, the world told us that we were niggas, that we were spicks, and that we were coons and monkeys and wetbacks. But the Lord says, you are kings and princes and priests. All right? So who are you going to listen to? <laughs> see, really? see, so, see, the so-called white man, they feel threatened when we're, when we're, on, when we're on a level. You know, because what, what, what will happen is when, when, we, when, we repent, when we repent and serve the Lord, it, it, it put, two, it put the, these two opposites together. Okay? It, not because Jake, the so-called black man, we're masculine. We're the most masculine men in the world. All right? They, they know us for being super athletic. Okay? Being super strong. Right? Now you take the wisdom of the Lord and you put us together. Okay? We, the other nations, they envy us, man. This is why... You, a lot of times in the workplace, I got to kind of dumb it down because Esau, he's in the position of power. You know, when I walk into the room and I start saying the things that I'm saying, speaking at a high level, Esau feels offended. He, he feels belittled because I'm not supposed to be in that position. Jake walking through a walk through the room. Jake already, when he walked through a room, uh, attracts all the attention. But now that he's speaking the words of wisdom, words of the most high, man, they want to kill you. Get, get that boy out of here. Right. <laughs> they gonna find a they gonna find a way to fire you mm-hmm. or get rid of you. Either fire you, they gotta fire you or control you. Control you somehow, that's, some way. That's right. right, and that's why they, they they get Jake with the the uh with the bags. You know what I'm saying? Try to uh oh let me give him a, a, a promotion right. to a level where I can control him, make him shave his beard. Hey, you are gonna be a manager now, so you gotta put on this shirt and tie. You gotta shave your beard in order to have this position. That's how they do you. They gotta find a way to control you and emasculate you. But uh, what you got, bro? Wisdom. This is 1 Corinthians 8 and 1. Now, touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. So, look at scripture. Knowledge puffeth up makes you more confident. Yep, that's right, true. Right, yep, right, it, right. that's right, brother. Knowledge puffeth up. It makes you more confident. Right. So, when we, that's when we walk around now, you know what I'm saying? Like 50 said, I walk around like I got an S on my chest. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do now. Hey, we, we got the name of the Lord on our foreheads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we, we got we more confident than we used to be, man. You know, and we're thankful. And that's the thing about when you truly have confidence, you don't even need to, uh, your, your confidence speaks for you. You know what I'm saying? You no longer have to always open your mouth. People just know. So you could be walking, you could be, you could have a so-called white man, shaved face, clean, you know, uh, expensive clothes on, but, and you, you looking like not on his level, but your presence outshines him, even if you don't say anything. Yep, yep. Hey, as a matter of fact, it might outshine them more when you don't say nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It talks about a wise man, you know, a fool is esteemed as wise even when he holdeth his tongue. So how much more? It says a wise man knows when to speak. You know what I'm saying? Knows when to hold his tongue. Sometimes people people call you a leader, but even if you don't speak much, just, just by your actions, you by example. Yep, yep. It says be an example unto the unbelievers, to the believers. Go ahead. This is John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that uh, quickening goes back to made alive. So the Lord, he He, he made us alive, you know, because, because he, we, we came back into this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right, we know who we are. We're not walking around in darkness. 
All right, but uh, uh, but but two thirds of our people, you know, they're spiritually dead. But the Lord, He He uh, He, we're, we're we're alive now. All right, we're not walking around in a dead state of mind. We're not sagging our pants. You know, but we're 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 not identifying ourselves as black or Hispanic or Native American. All right, and that's and that that give us confidence as well. All right, knowing who we are. Yeah, yeah. Get get Sirach, uh twenty and seven, and uh, get uh, also uh, James two and nineteen. Yeah, Sirach twenty and seven. Because the scriptures say, uh, let's get the water, brother. The scriptures say, yeah, yeah. Yep. The scriptures, the scriptures say, uh, death is in death and life is in the power of the tongue, man. Go ahead, read that, brother. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty, verse seven. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity. See that? A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity. So you ain't always got to run your mouth, man. You got to know, you, hey, here's that sweet spot. Right. Here's a, now is my opportunity to speak. Or now is a good time to speak. Or now is a good time to just hold my peace. You know? But uh, what a fool going to do? Just running his damn mouth all the damn time, man. You know? And you can't be doing it. And of course, when we come out to the highways and byways, we talk. But when you in your daily walk, all right, going in the store... You can't be in there trying to rebuke everybody that you see, man. You know? Sometimes, sometimes. You can go ahead. You can go ahead. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, bro. Uh, it's just burning, burning in you to say something. Right, right. Yeah. But see, that's that's the wisdom, though. When the word is burnt, that's the spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's, and you you wait for the perfect opportunity. You see what I'm saying? That's the spirit burning in you at the point where you're like, all right, I'm going I'm to say something. But you wait until the right moment, man. That's what, uh, it's always, uh, you know, it's always like on the movies. Where they be like, you gotta, all right, hey brothers, we gotta make this mission. We got three minutes and fifteen seconds. You gotta wait until it's the right moment in order to act upon it, man. You know? I think uh, like like uh, discretion, discretion goes into like good decision making. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, I got a quick precept. This is Ecclesiastes five verse three, and it says, "For a dream coming through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words." Woo! <laughs> That's right, man. A fool, a fool is known by his multitude of words, man. I'm like, damn, don't this dude ever just shut the hell up, man? You be out going to an event with your family or something. He just, and then that's the thing. If he was talking about something righteous, you'd be like, all right, okay, I can vibe with you. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, he's talking about nonsense, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, let our, uh, let our speech. What is it saying? Uh, First Peter's. Right. Uh, now, speech be short. That, that, that ain't what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, holy conversation. Having a holy conversation, but that's a good one too. Have a uh, short speech, man. Holy conversation. When we're around the brothers, hey, we'll talk it up when we're around the brothers, man. Because we know that we're speaking the righteous things. All right? But in the world, yeah, this dude just want to talk about rapping and Cardi B and all that nonsense. Like, bro, when you going to ever shut up? Go ahead, brother. Uh, so Ross, uh, a wise man will hold his tongue until he see opportunity, but a babbler... And a fool will regard no time. See that? A babbler and a fool will regard no time. They just gonna keep talking and keep talking. Don't know when to shut up. Never hold their peace. And they just talking about nonsense and wickedness, man. All right? Uh, Proverbs 18 and 2. A fool have no delight in understanding, but that is, but, but that, but that his heart may discover this itself. You know, a, you know, a fool only wants to you know, speak his own words, man. Only wants to hear himself talk. <laughs> right. Only want to hear himself. Like, he, he, uh, I forgot what I was watching. I'm like, oh, you, hey, you like hearing yourself speak, don't you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, like, and I, I've even noticed, you know, in the world, I used to be a talkative dude, but shit, it kept, I'm the most talkative. You know what I'm saying? But in the world, if I ain't with the brothers, man, shit, I don't be talking that much, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have the same conversations with your family and friends you no know more. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't talk to these people like that. So you only talk when you're at camp and when you're around the brothers. You don't talk like you used to, man. You know, you know? And, I, and, and I find, I, I, I pay attention to that in myself. You know, whenever I find myself just talking too much, I just shut the fuck up. Yep. I'm mean, talking too much. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I get like that when I be around Johnson. I'm like, yo, I'm talking too damn much. And I, we be speaking about rights. I'm still like, I'm talking too damn much. Let me shut up. You know, like I'm feeling now a little bit. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, uh, who had that, James? Uh, James 2 and 19 You know Because it, this is wisdom man This is what it comes down to man Knowing when and how to do things man Through the spirit You know 
Not just doing them because you feel like them, man. You got to walk in the spirit, man. You know? Do it 19 times. James chapter 2, the verse 19. Thou believest that there is one power. Uh, what, maybe 18. No, I want the one. slow to speak. Oh. Swift to hear. Maybe it's in one. I thought it was 2 and 19. So lucky. I got you all. Okay, 119. 119, the water. All right, this is James chapter 1 and verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Mm -hmm. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh Shem Al Shad. Read the top part of that again for me. Uh, James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. Swift to hear. Slow to speak. Slow to speak, man. All right. See, that's the thing. You got to be swift to hear. You know? You be Sometimes stuff be going on. And that's, that really goes into conversations, too. But when other people be talking, sometimes we just li uh, Like when uh, Gabar was sitting down there last week and that Elamite and that, uh, that yeah, Elamite. We're just listening. You know what I'm saying? We ain't say nothing until they start talking to us. You know what I'm saying? We held our peace and then they said something to us. But you got to be slow to You got to be uh, swift to hear. You know, we'll listen. You know, because out of, out of people's conversations, we can either realize that they're ignorant, all right, or what they're talking about. But then you got to be uh, slow to speak too, man. All right, you you got to wait for a wise man will wait to opportunity, man. What's the most thing that that, that 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 irritates people? You're not listening. Yep. You're not listening, and you know that's a, that's a uh, that's something that you have to that's learn. Art. Yeah, that's an art. You have to you have to exercise that to listen. You know, stop trying to uh, 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 prepare what you want to say in your mind before you even get done listening, man. You got to listen to the person, man. Let them explain themselves, man. They may not be able to explain themselves as well as you can. So just be patient with the person, man, so you can get the full understanding. Yeah. Uh, they say in the world, uh, don't, don't listen to respond, but listen to receive. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you, you, people always just want to listen to you just so they can give you a response. All right, you know, it's some brothers that's real good listeners, man. You know, some they, all y'all brothers real talk be good listeners, man. You know, hey, like the brother Jeremiah uh, down in Miami, that brother's a good listener, man. You know, like you, you talk to that brother, he won't interrupt you at all, man. You be like that. That's when you be like, oh damn, like. And so that's the thing. You learn things like that in the truth. So when a man is talking, all right, you try to. It says not in uh, scriptures talking about not. I believe in Sirach the eleventh chapter, uh, not interrupting a man in his speech. You know what I'm saying? So the scriptures also teach us that. Teach us things that the world don't teach us, man. All right? We, we've been raised by women, right? Women that, that just want to run their mouth all day. Want to interrupt. Like that chick, she would not let me speak. That's why I start raising my voice. All right? You know what I'm saying? She want to yell over me. All right? What Kevin B. Samuel saying? This is my show. You're not going to talk over me. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's really what's going on. It's the Lord's show, man. You're not thinking that you're just going to usurp authority over a man. You know? So we we learning to listen, man. We're learning, and that's that's real talk. That was your first lesson in the truth. Let's be real. Uh, all right. It wasn't studying. All right. It was listening because you got to listen in order to study. All right. When the teacher talk, you got to listen first and then study. <laughs> you know to receive it, to apply it. So you got to listen. That's the one of the first lessons in the truth. It's listening, man. It's an important tool. Just like uh, in Acts, uh, Philip. You know, and said, uh, how, "How can I learn except, except some man teach me?" Mm -hmm. So you got to be able to listen. To that's right. How can I learn except some man teach me and guide me, man? All right. When, when you found out about the truth, when you listen to the apostles, all right, you had to listen, man. You had to listen closely. All right. You had to pay attention to what was going on because if you don't pay attention, that's when you don't receive the information, the lesson that's taught. So when now when the teacher asks you a question about what's the lesson been about, you dumbfounded. All right. Because you ain't paying no attention. So that's the same thing as when our Messiah returns. He, go, he looking for who's the listeners on earth, the listeners and the appliers, man. All right, because all you people hear, but you don't listen. You know, like when we say, uh, uh, when we read Revelation one and three, it says, "Blessed is he that readeth." That goes into comprehending, being able to understand the things that you've heard, man. You can't just always want to hear, hear, hear. You gotta listen, man, and receive. All right. Uh, uh, also, get a uh, Second Corinthians uh, two and fifteen, I think. You know, what was you looking for, Q? Uh, you got it already? Yeah, okay, James so 1 and 22. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. It says, uh, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, mm -hmm. deceiving your own selves. All right, so we can't, we can't just be just be hearing it. You got you to gotta, you gotta receive it 
You know what you gotta do? You gotta put forth action, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Because you, you, you can say that you, you can say con all day. <laughs> right. All right. Con. <laughs> con. <laughs> Alright. You know, but if you ain't doing it, then you, you know, we know that you're not really receiving. You know, by your actions. I'm done. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if he would have hit their ass, he would have been wrong, though, right? It's a lot of you, brother. Or, I mean, yeah, he was For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. You know? You can't just be uh, hearing his word only, man. Mm-hmm. Right? You gotta put forth action, man. Right? Right. 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 It said, uh, Titus 1 and 16. Um, and there's, uh, I believe it's one in, in uh, Ecclesiastes about applied something. Type in applied in the blue letter, somebody. It's something in Ecclesiastes about uh, applied, applied understanding or something like that. But also, uh, I don't want you had a precept in the meantime. This is Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Uh, I read that again, sorry. Mm, Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? That's right. They, they say, Lord, Lord. Like she said, God loves everybody. But they don't do what he say, man. All right? You can't, because when you, when you understand the meaning of Lord, Lord means master. All right? Uh, somebody that's supreme over you. So y'all all say, Lord, Lord, God bless. But y'all don't want to do nothing that the Bible say do. It, it's hypocrisy, man. It doesn't make any sense. And that's what it was. When it says, uh, and I apply myself to know wisdom and understand it. Yeah, my man. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 25. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom mm-hmm. and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. That's right. We, we, we apply ourselves to know wisdom. And so that's how we can spot out these people on what kind of people they are. What, the spirit that's within them, man. We are applying ourselves to know wisdom. So now we can point out wickedness and folly, man. All right? Because, you know, and these, see, that's another thing that's through about uh, social media. You know, you get on social media, a chick who you might think is cute. She ain't got no man, right? You know, you think she cute. You, you want to like her picture, but she got gold hair. You're like, damn, like, you, you don't even want to like the picture no more because you know that shit is through. You know, because in a, that's, that's almost like approving of what she's doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you beautiful girl, but damn, I can't approve that. You think that's okay? And you like, I'm, I got, I got 200 likes on that one, so I'm gonna do it again. Right. You know? Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy later end. That's right. It says receive counsel. Right? Read, read this. Read that again, brother. Uh, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20 Hear counsel and receive instruction Hear counsel and receive instruction Right? Hear counsel Alright? This is strong This is counsel out here man Alright? Counsel There's two different types of counsel There's a counsel Where you can have a, a, Like a group of men A group of people Making a judgment on something But this counsel is also advice Like you had a guidance counselor In high school They were supposed to give you advice To lead you on the right path Right, so you're supposed to hear counsel. This is counsel. This is good advice, man. Go ahead, brother. Hear counsel and what? Uh, hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. See that? That thou mayest be wise in our latter end. So that's why we come out and we, we listen to the words in this Bible. So that we can be wise in our latter end, man. All right, so that we know that the Lord is going to bless us at all. Because what did he say to Job? He says, even though Job got chastised, he was blessed in his latter end, man. All right, double. Uh, this is Titus chapter 1 verse 16 They profess that they know Yahweh Shah, But in works they deny him Being abominable and disobedient Unto every good work Reprobate you know, right? And that's why, that's our people To, to the teeth they, they profess that they know Yahweh Shah. All right, They might have a Jesus piece on all right? no, they, 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 they go to church all right? But the moment you tell them That you're not supposed to eat pork You're not supposed to eat shrimp or crab lobster you know what, what they say? Oh, uh, 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 I'm just gonna pray over it. All right, but the but the Lord says not to eat these things. You know, and that's our people. You know, they they go about to establish their own righteousness. All right, but but at the end of the day, they, they're they're reprobate. They're, they're unapproved spirits. All right. 
You got something, bro? Uh, it's Proverbs. Let's back it up. It's Proverbs 28 and 9. 28 and verse 9. He that turneth away his ear and hearing the law, even his prayer, shall be abomination. So you so see. That's, a, that's our people. They, they turn away their ear from hearing the law, right? And now, and now, when they pray to the Lord, you know, the, their Lord, I mean, their prayer is an abomination. All right? The Lord don't want to hear that shit. All right? You know, for the Lord, he speaks through, through, through his men. All right? So if, if one of the men tells you that you're not supposed to, that you're not supposed to have sex with another man, uh, another man's wife, all right, you go ahead and do it. Your prayer is an abomination. You know, we tell you not to eat pork. Crab shrimp, lobster, not to celebrate your birthday. All right, every time you pray to the Lord, that prayer is abomination. Because you're unclean before the Lord. You know, you can't just come to the Lord as you are, man. You gotta sanctify yourself, man. You gotta get clean. You know, you think the Lord is gonna hear you, man, while you all dirty and filthy and, and doing abominable things, man. Your prayers are not gonna be heard, man. When your woman come to see you, what she do before she come over? She shower. She shower up? That's what we gotta do spiritually, man. Huh. What y'all got? Backing up, brother. Uh, this is Proverbs 13, chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall he be rewarded. If you despise his word, you're going to be destroyed. All right, you're going to die a death by pain, whether it be bloodshed, strife. All right, whether it be in the, in the race, in the race wars. All right, whether you get thrown into these concentration camps and get tortured to death, you're going to be destroyed. All right, and that's why we giving our people warnings. All right, but what, what, because these people they ain't gonna have no cloak for their sin when the Lord comes. You know, everybody heard this word. All right, this word is going out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, that's why you got people waking up in the Philippines. You know, you got Israelite camps in Italy. You know, all throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, so when the Lord comes, there ain't gonna be no cloak for these people sin. So, you know, but yeah, man, but uh, but that you know, everybody is not gonna receive the word, man. The scripture says right here in uh, Matthew uh, 13, verse 10, and it says, And the disciples came and said unto them, unto him, Why speakest thou to, unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, it says, For whosoever hath to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance, but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Okay, so there's a there's so not everybody is gonna receive the word, man. Not everybody's gonna receive the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. This is why hundreds of people walk by us every day and they they they, they can't they can't receive the words that are being spoken. Okay, they can't receive the words of the most high because it's not meant for them, man. It's meant for the elect to receive the word, man. Okay, because many are called, but a few are chosen, man. All right? So when they keep saying that God loves everybody, that's not true. Okay? He only loves his people, and only the elect of his people are going to be delivered, man, from this place. They're, they're, because they're going to be the only ones that receive the word. It's heavy when you think about it. The Lord, he, he handpicked, he, he, uh, he handpicked you know, his elect before the foundation of the world was even created. Man. You know, he already had everything written out, you know, before everything was even took place, man. you know that, that that's supreme authority. No, no, that's something that Esau doesn't have. Doesn't have I'm going. I'm going. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, and we're, 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 that's why we're here to be a witness, man. For those of us who who, who have who's been blessed to receive the word, we've been we're we're, we're blessed to be a witness, man. Until to, until uh, to witness the two thirds of our people not receiving the word, man. We're actually seeing them being disobedient, man. Okay, claiming saying that they believe in the most high, but they, they they they're they're shown to be liars, man. Because when the word comes out, they don't want to obey the words of the Lord. And we're a witness to these things, man. So when judgment comes, we're gonna also be a witness to the judgment of, of the two-thirds of our people and the other nations, man. And that's a blessed position to be in, man. This is why we don't take this work for granted. We don't take this word for granted. Alright, see so see how two-thirds of our people they take the word of the most high for granted. So when, when, when the desolation come upon them, they're going to cry out unto the Lord, and the Most High is not going to save them. This is back in the book of Proverbs 28 and 9. This is uh, John. This is John 9 and 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be worshiper of Yahweh, and doth his will, then he heareth. Right, the Lord ain't that a, a, a wolf of sin, man. All right, somebody that's, that, that, that's, that's willfully been uh, rebellious, man. Alright, even your parents, if you, you
you disobey your parents willfully, man. Right? All right, they, they're not going. They're not going to uh, give you uh, an Xbox. Uh, I was going to say for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> they have to give you presents, bro. Yeah. You know? They don't whip your ass. <laughs> Read that again, brother. First Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous mercy be saved, we shall have a godly and the sinner of the earth. If the righteous scarcely be saved, most of us scarcely be saved, we shall have an ungodly and the sinner of the earth. Come on, man. All right? So the righteous are, are something, like you said, like, like you said earlier, many are called, but few are chosen. So if the righteous are scarcely saved, you know, where shall the sinner and then and what now? Repeat that again. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? The ungodly and the sinner appear. Where shall they appear, man? You know, we fear the Lord. We, we we know that he's getting ready to judge this place, man. This is why we're preparing ourselves for the judgment, man, that's coming upon this place, which is already has started. Okay? And we we, we we pray unto the Lord that we're delivered from those time, from that time, man. Alright? This is why we pray so much and we do the work, man, so we can receive salvation, man. Okay? So what so now once once the elect is delivered, what's the what's the end of all the other nations, man? Second Ezra chapter 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they, while they had yet liberty, and when that place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not but despised it. They were living good, man. They were living good, as you can see in Texas, man. But there were a lot of nice homes in Texas, man. They received the benefits of this kingdom, right? But they didn't consider the words of the Lord. They didn't receive it. They didn't apply it, all right? Because they already got their their, their, their consolation, man. They got what they wanted. That's why when you, a lot of people that had those video vlogs, man, and you look in the background, those, those homes were very nice, man. They thought that they were set up. They thought they, they thought they had it all. Then that one woman who Got frozen in the, in the, in the, that shit was funny. It was a BMW, wasn't it? I don't know. It was so frozen. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know That's how you know that was judgment. You knew that was judgment, man. That was judgment. You know what right. I'm saying? All the shit, like all the spots in here, that shit opened up right on top of hers, man. Hey, bro, I died, and, bro. and a lot of the houses, you know, they was collapsing, and, and, and people put their put their strength in those things. Right. You know, they 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 probably saved up, you know, their whole life right. to, to get this uh, house. Yeah, they, 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 they put their strength in it, and now look, the Lord took that shit away. I see that expensive chandelier fall out. I was like, boy, that looks like an expensive chandelier. And a lot of people, they don't be getting, they don't be getting homeowners insurance and renters insurance a lot of the times. Right, because so in Texas, that's they don't expect that. Exactly, they don't expect that. So since they didn't pay for that, they don't even they got to fix that themselves. Right, and, and they've, they've been saying that uh, some people people like bills uh, ten thousand dollars. Right, the businesses and stuff like that. Right, like seventeen, ten thousand, seventeen thousand dollars for the business, man. Just to keep their business operating, man. That's how you know this place is through, man. Mm-hmm. You think they're gonna be able to pay off that bill and still operate, man? Most businesses they can't. Those people that are second Ezra's eight and uh, fifty-six. Actually, I'm gonna start fifty-five. And therefore, ask no more questions concerning them, concerning the most of them that perished from when they had taken liberty, the spies the Most High, and are sworn of His law and forsook His ways. Uh, Second eight and fifty-five, and therefore ask no more questions concerning the monster of them that perish. But when they had taken liberty and despised the Most High, caused scorn of His law and forsook His ways. All right, they forsook His ways, man. Okay, and that, hey, that's going to be two thirds of our people, man. They haven't received the word, man. All right, we, a, a lot of a lot of our people are vain, man. They're caught up in vanity, man. You know, they're so caught up in their looks. They're so caught up in the things that they have. You know, they feel like they got it already, man. All right? So when the Most High reach out his hand and, 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 and shows his mercy and gives them his mercy, they, they reject it, man. Okay? The Lord is getting, the Lord is upgrading his people, man. The Lord is not downgrading us. We're already at the bottom. The Lord is upgrading us. The only us. way to go is up. So if our enemies envy us at the bottom, okay, how much more are they going to envy us at the top? If, if their women want us right now at the bottom, how much more at the top? Jeez. Man, we're gonna be literally, we're gonna be gods on the earth, man. 
So Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of, of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Everybody, uh, read that again, Slot. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease Woo. and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Right. You no, know, the, the Lord, the, it ain't going to be no, the Lord going, all that pride shit going to be out the window. Right. You know? they, they, they show pride for when they walk, when they walk around here, man. You know, because they, they're, they're in their kingdom. They're in their glory. You know what I'm saying? They don't believe in the Most High. They don't believe the Most High is going to judge this place. You know what I'm saying? They, they think the things that we're saying are false. But the, thing, but the Most High keeps proving it to them and showing it to them to them, to them in their face, man, by, by having these little things come to pass, by having prophecy come to pass, man. All right? And, and you, can, you, can see, you can feel the environment ever since this Texas thing is happening. People are, you know, they're listening more. You know, when we first got here, people were actually standing around listening because they actually see the works of the Most High. We sound crazy. This whole up, up until this point, man. But now the works of the Most High is coming to pass. Now they want to, they want to come by. They want to listen, or they're hearkening just a little more. That's like because they see the Most High actually working, man. We were, we were fools then, but now we not fools no more. And when the scripture say pride go before destruction, pride all goes before the fall. And hey, these people prideful now, but hey, when, when, the, when the Lord returns, all that shit, that pride is out the window. You saw me walking around here, head up, like, ha, ha, all right, ha, huh? your kingdom is falling apart. You know what I'm saying? How proud can you be when your kingdom is falling apart? Your economic system is getting ready to collapse. They know it. It's just uh, the unbelievers of our people, they don't believe it. They can't believe that this place is going down. They can't believe it. Well, believe it. Okay? You think the people in Texas, you think that they're going to be able to go back to their jobs now? You think they're going to go back to normal? It said uh, it was an article. A couple articles came out talking about uh, how people are never going back into the office again. Come on, man! That, that office thing is through. Yeah, working from home. That office shit is through. I said I ain't never tucking my shirt in again. <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck that, man! I used to hate that shit, man. See, this is why this is why it's good that the Most High is doing everything little by little. And everybody wanted to go to Texas too. Right? They were moving to Texas. Remember? Yeah, remember? Uh, <laughs> Come on! Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, I'm moving to Texas. Oh, I'm moving to Texas. I'm moving to Texas. Now look at Texas, man. All oh, jacked up. What if you just moved there? People still planning to move there, bro. Really? People still planning to move there. Why? And, and the other states, they don't like the fact that uh, Texas is so independent like that. So they, you know, they had to create some kind of scenario to destroy that, man. Uh, they, uh, there's something that came out about uh, Texas wanting to secede from the nations or something. Right, because they can operate without the yeah, rest of the nation. Yeah, it's supposed to be one of the most flourishing states in the United States. So that's it. That's why they're judging them like that. Because they wanted to, uh, they think they, they can run their own economy and shit. You know, everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, all right. Yeah, judgment too. Yeah. <laughs> Esau, see, Esau, Esau wants everybody to kneel. Esau, the elite of Esau, they want even their own people to kneel, man. Okay, they're not going to have no rebellion. You know, they don't want any rebellion within their rulership. You know, and then and, and Texas, by boasting them, boasting themselves like that, they were rebelling. They were rebelling against their their their, their so-called leaders, man. You know, so you know it could be possible that the elite has has used the heart to do that to Texas, man. But then also the uh, certain particular videos throughout the week, man. They said that area where where uh, the the snow and the winter, the, the, the the cold air went through, there was a, that was an area of a lot of cattle. Okay, so a famine is getting ready to come. Not a, let alone the famine of the word, man. Once the now, once they don't have no food, they already don't have no. They have running water, but you can't drink the water because all that, all the bacteria and stuff like that, the parasites that's in the water. You saw that one video? Yeah, I did. Man, it was like a little white thing flying, floating around. I ain't never seen water look like that. How man. you gonna take a shower? That shit looks terrible, man. <laughs> I forgot who the brothers were. I forgot what the video I was listening to. All the bad bitches now, bro. Frozen. <laughs> Frozen. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna clean yourself when you have a period? Yeah. Ooh. Bro, it's gonna be a lot of stank stuff, man. Oh, man. Damn. Gotta put the parasite water on it. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> See, a lot of these Parasite things, pussy. See, a lot of these things. A lot of these things. Our people didn't consider those things before. 
Uh, I bet they consider it now. Uh, no, y'all can go ahead. Y'all can go ahead. Right. You know? And that's good, man, because if there's a hope, if there's a, uh, the, hope, the hopeful elect amongst them, man, you know, the most high, you know, there's going to be a lot of our people that's going to come in at the, at the last hour, man. And Lord willing, you know, the hopeful elect is amongst them and they're going to wake up and return unto the Lord, man, and forsake their way, man, forsake the way of the world, man. All right, because this world is going to destroy our people, man. This kingdom wasn't built for our people, man. And Esau is showing our people that day by day, man, every day. All right, but our people, they're not listening to the Lord, man. They're not believing that the so-called white man and the other nations are their enemies, man, and they're going to pay the price for that. You got to wake up, man, to the reality of the world. Everybody has enemies. Everybody has enemies. What's wrong with that? Why, why, why are they forcing it down our throat, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to be equal with everybody? But everybody don't want to be equal with us. They'll use our celebrities to keep pushing that vibration amongst our people, man. Why, why the so-called other, and the other nations keep whooping our ass, man? You know, our people, man, they're, they're, they're deaf and blind, man. You know, but it's the same people that these other nations are attacking. The same people that the nations are, are, are trying to bring down low and destroy are going to be their rulers, man. This is Sirach chapter 10, verse 3. And a wise king destroyed his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. It's right? an unwise king. Uh, an unwise king destroyed his people. And I'll bring that out because you know, we were speaking about you know what's going on in Texas. You know, that, that all that is from Esau. You know, Esau... Uh, whether it's hard, you know, but he, but it says a, a wise king destroyed his people, and that's what Esau do. All right, whether it be fluoride in the water, whether it be chemtrails in the air, whether it be the GMOs in the food, all right, the toxins that that that's that that's in your water. You know, if he was a wise king, you know, we should be able to turn on our faucet and drink and drink pure water, free, right? You know, but a, a wise king, thing. you know, he gonna do. He destroy his people. And that's what Esau do. He's, de he's destroying uh, Jacob, you know, and he's destroying the whole earth. You know, the animals, you know, the uh, the trees, you know, with, with, with the uh, chemtrails. See, if, if, if these people truly believed in the Most High, if they truly kept his ways, then this place would flourish, man. That unwise king wouldn't be destroying his own, destroying the people, man. You know what I'm saying? They, these, these things wouldn't be happening, man. All these diseases and pestilences wouldn't be happening if they if they were uh, uh, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments for all time, man. All right, they always tell us that the laws, statutes, and commandments have been done away with, but they but they don't they don't see the, the righteousness in it, man. It's like, all right, they don't see the righteousness in keeping the law. They don't see the benefit in serving the law. Don't tell me. This place is full of confusion, man. This place isn't ordered in righteousness, man. Okay. You think you think that you think during the time of Jacob's trouble that that escalation that that, that argument is gonna uh, stay at the level that it's at? Nah, man. During the time of uh, martial law, they are gonna argue to the point where they gonna wanna kill each other, man. There ain't gonna be nobody to stop that man from killing his wife. All right? Good to see you might argue. Right. It's good to see that, man. See, people don't know, man. They don't know. They don't understand the reality of the world, man. Our people, they've been caught up in this dream, man. Hey, oh, this, this false uh, 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 sense of power and, and freedom. Hey, but you see how he was talking to his woman, though. I'm assuming that's his woman. He said, this is my family, but he's snapping her ass. You tell, you tell a, a nigga woman to go home in the middle of climatics. Hey, she gonna flip the fuck out of her ass. Make a scene. She gonna, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me get this scripture, though. This is uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3. It says, uh, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Come on, man. You see? Nah, because the Lord is gonna is he's gonna hide you, man, during the during the day of trouble, man, when you keep in his ways, because keeping the Lord's ways is wisdom, man. And the Lord's ways teaches you to uh, 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 sub, uh, subdue the flesh, man. Okay, to, to, to put your body under subjection, man. Okay, not to be quick to not to be quick to anger. The Lord teaches you these things, and if you can keep the way of the Lord, man, you can be you can be passed over those things, man. Or those things can pass over you. Because we consider that, man, and we exercise the ways of the Lord. Two-thirds of our people, they don't, they don't exercise the ways of the Lord, man. They don't see the benefit in serving the Lord, but we do, because we establish His way. This is Proverbs 1 and 30. 
They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. You know, the, the ways of the Lord. You know, you know it is counsel. All right, his law, statutes, his commandments. His all correction. Right. His correction. Yep. That, that's, that's the reproof. And we always consider that. If something go wrong, we be like, man, I did something the other day I wasn't supposed to do. Now the Lord jacked me up. We consider that, oh, man. Yeah. And, and, and uh, in judgment, you know, that, 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 that's the better you live in the day. All right, but people don't like to be judged, you know, because they like, you know, they they like they, they like to stay in their own way, right? All right, and uh, a little bit more. Verse thirty-one it says, "Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be and be filled with their own devices." You know, that's why people out here catching hell, man. All right, the, the Lord, the Lord is, is is giving you over to your own wounds, man. All right, by your wickedness. All right, by your wicked works, man. All right, you know you, you, uh, you, you reap what you sow. Right. You know, that's, that's a that's a common that's a common saying in the world, you know, but that comes from the scriptures, man. All right, you, you reap what you sow, man. Yeah. All right. You know, just like if, if people want to be homosexuals, all right, you're gonna reap what you sow. It's gonna be a lot of diseases out here. Right? Yeah. They, they, they be surprised. They be sure to be put to death. That's right. They get they get surprised when uh they get AIDS and HIV. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the uh, fuck are you surprised for? You doing it in the butt? <laughs> 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 Fuck you, fuck you expect, man. Shit. Yeah, that's nasty as fuck, bro. But what you expect? They, they be surprised. Now they got these fucking uh, HRV AIDS uh, billboards out here and shit. Yeah, uh, you be so man, I hate you that shit, bro. Commercials? Uh, I don't they know. They have homosexuals on commercials and they have like pills you can take so you won't get HIV. Oh my that god. Is terrible. They shouldn't have to resort to that. What does that tell you? Yeah, right. That means there's a problem right. before if you gotta take the pill for that shit. But they got these signs out here. They be like, "Well, where Jeremy said, come on down to the clinic. Like, get Jeremy the fuck out of here, bro." Yeah, on Forty Fifth Street, the flea market, they had a little bus there that said STD. You know, you get to check a uh, little free. We we can get checked for STD. Free free rapid yeah, test. The, the, the colon is where all your organs, all the food that you, all the poisons that are leaving your body. That's where it goes. Okay, ain't nothing supposed to go back up in there, man. It's supposed to dump. It's supposed to dump all the waste, all the poison, all the bad, bad, bad bacteria. And now you trying to push that shit right back, man. Come on, man. I, I got Come one. On, bro. I take black. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, sixty-six and four. It says, "I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them, because when I call, none did answer." When I spake, they did not hear. There's a hear again. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. The Lord don't, uh, he delights not in homosexuality. He delights not in the wickedness of this place. But everybody in this place would say, hey, it's okay, support him. He's, he, he or she is brave. They had a guy that was, uh, 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 now they said, he was a, he's a, a transgender man. So he's a woman that was a man that just had a baby and on a birth certificate they're going to write father so it doesn't make sense so he was a pregnant man and he's going to write father that's just confusion are you the father of the man? man and see this this is why we this is why we need to get out of here man this is why we need to get out of here man you know we need some, this we need salvation man we need salvation man There's so many reasons why we need to be saved all right, we're asking the Lord to save us, man. All right, you know, we're living in a land of, of wickedness. So we need, we need salvation from the Lord, okay? These people running up and do everything they want. You know, she's talking about save me, but they got demons on them. Hey, the daughter wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't with that shit. The daughter, you know? she wasn't with that. It, it, never, they always do it, never do. Yeah, you know, and they, they be wanting, they, and they say save me because nowadays, you know, with the sage, <laughs> women think that they're on the level because they can bring out the sage and cleanse themselves, man. The scriptures say you got to cleanse what's inside of the cup first, man. All right? That says ain't doing nothing. You think it's getting rid of a, a wicked, your spirit is off, man. All right, that says ain't doing nothing. The sage is, real talk, let's be real. If, the, if we never use sage again, we don't We don't need that, all right? we It's a, 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 an assistance, all right? But we, you got to have the spirit of your house by Shani Asha to be cleansed, man. It means nothing to you if you're not righteous, man. That's right. It, the sage is like a spice. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you got chicken, right? At the end of the day, the chicken can sustain you, but you just add the spice, the seasoning for flavor. You know what I'm saying? You got to add the chicken first. 
I tried to chicken. Right, right. right. You can eat the chicken by itself for survival. But at the end of the day, if you just throwing on, if you ain't got nothing to put season on, and your eyes just dumping salt in your mouth, it's over for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Pointless. It's like the, the wicked. The wicked. They 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 take they take our stones. They take the, uh, yep. the, the sage and stuff, and they use it on the left hand side. Yeah. But it's no benefit unto them. Okay. But we 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 apply it on the right hand side. Okay. And it's beneficial to us, man, because we're not worshiping the stones. We understand yep. the use of it. Yep. We understand, okay, the vibrations that he give off. Yep. But it's not our rock. It's not our foundation. You know, but these are the things that we know that the Lord ha has blessed us with, man. They defile these stones, too, man. I love stones, man. They defile them, man. Uh -huh. you go to the, I was yeah. talking to one of the brothers today. Yeah. Talking about when you go to all these stone stores, all these stores yeah. are yeah. wicked, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, yeah. but let me get this real quick. This is Matthew 23 and 25. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you may clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. You know, so that, that's what we're seeing now, man. These people out here are their their vessels and their spirits are wicked. So you gotta clean what you gotta clean up your spirit first before you can apply all of these other things, man. Hey man, can you turn that off, man? Yeah, you know, listen. Can you turn that off, please? Hey. Yeah. See, that's wicked, man. I ask you, can you turn it off, man? Why would you why would you say that, man? You're out here recording, so. Alright, see, 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 men like this. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. You're helping our gospel. It don't matter. Men like this are gonna be destroyed though. You know, when that when the Messiah comes back, we asked him humbly, we said, Can you turn it off? But wait, you're in the middle of the street. That, that's the, that's 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 you're not, man. I asked you to do something. Hey, you're not. You're not. You're not. I just if you were doing God's work and I asked you to do something, you should have done You're not. Who is God? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Yeah, get your Edomite ass out of here, man. The Lord gonna destroy you, man. Get ready for slavery. Bugging out. He's talking about what if I'm doing? Probably lifting a fucking heavy metal on his ass, man. What if I'm doing God's work, man? But they don't know his name. All you people with your God's work and God bless this and God's bless that. But you don't know the name of the Heavenly Father, man. You people are gonna get destroyed. As soon as you said that, he had to go. Yeah, the book. Yeah, yeah, he. I don't, I don't have it. That's right. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Give me, give me that. What's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, get that for me. You know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, doing God. Hey, all right. Are you doing God? I, 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 I hear you, bro. I hear you. What's his name? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is Malachi chapter 1, <laughs> verse 14. But cursed be the deceiver, which have in his flock a male and thou a sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. He a deceiver. <laughs> Who's a deceiver? You know what I'm saying? You, uh, we're doing God's work, bro. <laughs> so if you were in agreement with us, you would have agreed and turned it off. You see what I'm saying? He had the, he had the iPhone at first. Then with the and that's why I didn't trip. I saw him with the iPhone. I'm like, all right. But then when he came over with the computer, that's he's doing funny. too much. Yeah. You know, he probably, you know, whatever he's doing, man. He's not doing God. Hey, at the end of the day, he is in a way. He's right. He's helping us push the word out, whatever he's planning to do with that. But it's still wicked, man. You know? The scripture says, blessed, blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. That's right. Oh, and that's how you cut it. That was easy. It was a light, easy work to get rid of. All right, hey, bro. I, I don't receive it, bro. All right, you're doing God's work. What's his name? Dumbfound. Gotta go. <laughs> go ahead, brother. It says, for I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. and my name is dreadful among the heathen. That's right. It's, uh, it, them, them looks couldn't open up no more after that. He was out of there. Cut. <laughs> You know, he was recording even when he was over here on this side. Ooh, get it. I didn't get it, brother. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to, trying to uh, uh, create a documentary. I already know what he was doing. Yeah. But it's too late. It's not going to save your kingdom. And see, that, that's the foolishness of this society, though. They think just because we're in a public place, it gives you the right to record. But if a man res respectfully asks you, I say, hey, man, I just, hey, turn that shit off. I say, hey, man, if you turn that off, can you not record us, please? Oh, you're, you're in a public place. That's wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks you not to record him, he say, we weren't recording him. You know what I'm saying? We were recording us. Right. But not, not, hey, now you mark. Now you on candy camera not knowing the name of the Lord. You know? And he didn't even say, no, nah, I don't know. What's his name? Uh, Edomite, man. Weird ass. Doing all that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, doing chicken arm shit. <laughs> hey, man. You, you got that, brother? Hey, man. The, the Lord is going to fight for us, man. When, okay, when they, when, they try, when they come and they persecute us, man, all right, they're gonna be like, yeah, these people. You know what that's gonna make a lot of people do? Go in the Bible and read it, okay? And when they open up the Bible and they read it and they see that the words that we've been saying unto the people are the words of the Lord, the Lord is gonna fight for us, man. 
We ain't got to worry about these people uh, recording us and things and such. That's right. Because all we're doing is speaking the words of the Most High, man. The Lord is going to fight for us. They're going to be condemned by the Lord. The Lord is going to condemn them. That's right. You know, yeah, they're going to put us on the news as if we're crazy. They're going to make a scene. And they're going to make it. All the people, they're going to believe the lies that are being spewed, man. Mm -hmm. But when they go in that book and they finally open up that book and they read it, they're going to be condemned, man. Because all the things that the Lord said that was going to happen to us are happening. And they're going to be condemned when they read it. Because they're going to know that we are the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I ain't going, bro. You can jump like two or three up from the point. Matthew 22, I'll start at verse um, uh, 11. It says, And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had a wedding garment. Uh -huh. He said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. That's right, and he was speechless. So when I asked that guy, what's up, man? You know, I'm good. How about you? Oh yeah, I remember like, you, man. Father, good grace, more shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You been reading that Bible, man? Yeah, man. I'm clean as God in treatment. Seventy okay. days sober, man. So okay. Good, man. Keep it up, man. Day, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, keep keep it up. You reading that Bible? Repent, man. The Lord on His way back, man. Yeah, man. That's good though. Keep, you know. Hey, I, I pray that you don't go back into that, man. You know, it's good, man. Clean and sober, man. And not His word. Hey, uh, real quick before you leave, give me John uh, 15 and three. Real quick, let me get this one scripture that you can go, okay? Yeah. It's John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's right. So at the end of the day, now you, you've taken that step to have the society help clean you up. Now the Lord is going to put the icing on the cake for you, man. Read, repent, get into this Bible, man. And then now that's when your vessel and your spirit is really cleansed and the Lord is going to be able to receive you, man. So, man, keep fighting, man. Keep yeah, believing, man. No problem. Y'all keep doing it. All right. I got yeah. one more scripture for you. It's James chapter 4 and verse 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And that's what you're doing. You're cleansing your hands. You're changing, and you're changing your old ways. Mm -hmm. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. All right, so you draw nigh to God, he's going to draw nigh to you. Mm -hmm. You're an Israelite. Yeah, yeah you know, we, we no, talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. All right, man. Take, 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 take care, right, man. All right, all right you much. too, man. All right, go ahead, bro. It's Psalm 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. That's right, man. That, that's how you cleanse your way, taking heed according to the word. And I, I believe he was Zebulon or Issachar. I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, it was a while ago when we spoke to him, man. But, hey, see, that, that's good, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh? He, he, was, he was, like, back at the library or something. You know what I'm saying? He was a while ago we saw him. But he said he, he clean, he's sober. He was doing the drugs. And I, I saw the little thing he was smoking in his hand, but... It's a weaning process when it comes to drugs, so I would, you know, you kind of gotta let him have that for the moment, man. But hey, may I remember him, man? May the Lord have mercy on him. He was a he was a humble dude. He's willing to listen. You know what I'm saying? And when he was one person, I'm like, I know that guy. But then he reminded me when he started speaking. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why we out here, man. You know, we told him he's an Israelite. We told him about the word. You know, now at the end of the day, I be telling brothers, you know, even though. Esau got these systems set up, and we know that the Lord is the ultimate cleansing to purify your ways, like the brother mentioned. But hey, sometimes you gotta you go to Esau's things, he help you get rid of that carnal nature of them drugs and them demons. Get rid of them drugs and them demons, right? But at the end of the day, after that, now that you understand how to maintain that, the Lord is gonna help you cleanse everything, right? To how to get your ways right, man. And that's why we're out here, man. That's, you know, it's true though, because Esau, you know, they 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 go to those drug facilities. And they strung out on hard drugs like heroin, yep. you know, uh, crack, you know, all that shit. But but they, but if Esau can get cleansed, you know, you know then, Jake then, can, then Jake can. Yep. And especially if you got your house on shot. That's right. And, and plus, uh. Uh, that's how a lot of the, when y'all be seeing these Edomites and they got these stones on and sage, that's how they get into that. Because when you go into those rehabilitation clinics, a lot of those clinics they give them stones to try to ground them and give them certain kind of uh, ward off negative demons and energies. That's how they get tapped into it. But see, once again, the stones are an additive. All right, it's just like that spice like we use for the sage. It's an additive. If none of us ever wore stones, we knew that we still got Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shad. All right, we can be out here stoneless, but we still got the Lord with it. So the stones are just an additive, man. Look at the apostles. Yep, they have apostles on. And they wear them, some of them wear them on their free time. But when they go out to the highways and byways, you don't see them with no stones on. 
Because at the end of the day, all you really need is the Lord, man. All right, these are just an additive because this is a, what we're showing is now the thing, the idea of the kingdom to come. Because in the kingdom, everything gonna be made of different stone, precious stones, man. So we, we know that this is just a part of our culture and our heritage, you know. Second Chronicles 16 and uh, verse 12 and Asa in the 30th and 9th year Asa? Yeah. and Asa in the 30th and 9th year of his reign was diseased in his feet until his disease was exceeding great yet in his disease he sought not the Lord but to the physicians yep and see that, that's, that's what happens to you when you when, when you seek not the Lord there's another scripture that says uh, when you don't serve the Lord, you will fall into the hands of the physician. All right, I believe like it's in uh, Syrac somewhere, or uh, yeah, yeah, you know. But that's that's right. So Asa was had a disease in his feet. So when, when you don't seek the Lord, all right, that's what happens, man. You fall into the hands of the physician. You can't seek the physician first and then seek the Lord. It don't work like that because yeah, when you say uh, uh, Rapania, all right, or Rapaya, it means heal me, Lord. Baba Kushan, heal me. You know, so you gotta ask the Lord for healing because, hey, what is that? It was not, not mollifying plaster that healed me, all right. But the will of the Lord, man. You know, um, uh, I think it's thirteen to sixteen. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Tobit thirteen oh, verse sixteen. Huh. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. Right. You know, um. I'm not going to get into that part. But uh, I spoke to this guy. He was talking about Hebrew Israelite culture. I ain't even, I just held my peace. But he was saying, you know, I want, uh, you know, I like stones, uh, but I got to be careful what I do because I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I just kept my, all I said was, he, stones are a part of Hebrew Israelite culture. That's all I said to him. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, what, what do you, what, what do you, what, we think we got pork stones, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about, man? But see, that's just the unlearned, right? But uh, read that again for me, because the, the stones are an important part of our culture. When you think about uh, uh, the priests, right? The priests were always all of their. Uh, they had the twelve stones on their breastplate. All right. Aaron had the twelve stones on his breastplate. Had the uh, the diadem on his uh, on, on his uh, mitri. You know, the stones were always a part of our heritage. There's a stone for every tribe, man. You know, you, you got Judah got the emerald. You got uh, Gad got the agate. You got Levi got the carbuncle, you know? You and different different tribes have different stones. Uh I was thinking about this yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, listening to brothers talking about how we're gonna get, we're gonna get the abundance of all these things as well. People gotta understand too that uh, uh, gold in a in a single molecule form is green, so it can be eaten. Okay? When you think of gold, you think of gold only in its metallic form. Yep. But you gold can be turned into powdered form. Remember, think. Remember what Moses had did. Okay, remember when he stamped, when he stomped the gold after the calf. If I'm not mistaken, he stamped it into powder because when you burn it and with that kind of temperature, it turns into powder, man. Yeah. You, man, I said in the kingdom, I might put gold in all my food. You have brothers that put uh, that make uh, uh, tinctures and right. herbs with, with silver and gold in them. I might you know? put gold in all my food. Yep. Uh, Gold, gold, sandwiches. Got this gold sandwich. It's gonna look like a regular sandwich, right. but you ain't know that it's gold all up in it, all, all right, up in the all right. bread, all of that. Hey, but, hey, glistening that sandwich yeah, over there. Oh boy, let's get some of that, brother. Yeah, well, that vibration is gonna be hot. Yeah, yeah. You got a, a, a gold lamb sandwich. They got that now overseas. Overseas in some countries, they got that. Yep. See, they know. They know, bro. The fourteen carat sound. They only show you the metallic version. Yep, yep. They never, they never let you know that there's other uh, versions of gold. Yep, that's true. And that's why the Lord says He will try us like gold in the furnace, Come. right? Because you can, you can change its property. It's a, gold is one of the softest metals. Come. You know, gold and silver are softer metals. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like iron. Iron is real. Highly, highly conductive. Yep, yep. Uh, but read that again for me. Uh, this is uh, Tobit 13, verse 16. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires, okay, and emeralds, and precious stone, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. That's right. See that? So we're going to have all those stones and gold in our kingdom. And uh, stones in Hebrew, and Lord willing, I'll do a lesson, so I want to do a lesson on stones. But uh, a stone is a bond, or stones a bunyum. All right, those, those are, we got many precious stones a part of our heritage, and we're going to see it. So he said, Jerusalem going to be built up with these stones, man. 
when you're ever sapphires and emeralds. And sapphire, bad man. Calm. Have you ever seen a nice blue sapphire, man? That's a that's one of my favorites, bro. It's a bad, good. it's rare too. You don't see sapphire all the time. I, was, I was at a, a Wellington the other day. There was an Edomite in there with a sapphire ring on, man. I was like, hey, that's a nice sapphire ring, man. And then he he like he like thanks, man. He, he made it wicked though. I got the Holy Trinity. I got emerald uh, sapphire. I'm like, <laughs> you damn devil. You know what I'm saying? You know the most high created those things because they're a marvel to our eyes. We'd be like, dang, how did the most high create that? You know, I, I and I hate the fact that Edomites is getting to use uh these great stones, man. You know, I hate the fact that they can touch them, man. You know? Hey shit, in the kingdom we gonna make we gonna make them wear metal gloves to just touch the stones, man. We don't want none of that energy on our stones, man. You know? Uh <laughs> no, Man, I don't think I want none of the heat in touching none of my stones, bro. But like I said, we're going to have uh, big uh, pots of sage and palo that's lit, burning, uh, uh, cleaning all, the, uh, cleaning all the stones, yeah? Cleaning all the stones, man. You know, uh, get Revelation 21 real quick. Um, maybe start at like 12 or somewhere around there just so we can get uh, some of the talk of stones, man. I need that. I need service to burn, like, you know, incense throughout the day in my house. Man. Yeah, man. Because our homes are going to be huge. Huh. You know, the homes in the kingdom, they're going to be huge, man. So we're going to need, you can't just, you know now you can light the little one incense and then light up your whole room? Huh. Nah, bro, we're going to need more than that to light up our You light one of the little incense sticks in the kingdom, you ain't even going to smell it, man. Right, right. This is a, this and add some thickness going to be a Palo Santo stick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can just light it on fire with your hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to buy no torches or bits no more. They're gonna be like, my lord, the, uh, the, the, the Palo Santo is going out. He's just gonna, you know, do something with his hand, and it's gonna go back to where it originally started. Yep. And yep. Lord's gonna bless his people. Yep, yep, absolutely, bro. Bless. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, it was, you see where it says stones? I think it's like verse. Yeah. It's like, yeah, uh, like 19, 4 or 17. Okay, 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 that's cool, bro. Sorry, 17? Yeah, so you started, uh, started 18. It's Revelation chapter 21, verse 18. And the building of the wall of it was of, was of Jasper. Right, and if you, if you know about Jaspers, Jaspers come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors, man. All right, you can't just get, if you look at just like ocean Jasper or sea Jasper, man, they'll have all different colors in them, man. Jasper ain't just one color, man. All right, and it says that, that's our gates. Our gates gonna be like that, man, you know? Let's get devil, bro. The fucking gauges in, man. Them gauges, that, that hammer gauge here shit, I hate that shit, bro. Hey, I mean, hey, you get into a fight, it's over for his ass, man. It's over for him. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Uh, verse 18, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. The city was pure gold, like clear glass. This is how you let you know how beautiful glass can be, because he said clear gold. So it ain't going to be just like, you know, all hard gold. Like, you want to look at the city, it's going to be like, almost like transparent gold, man. Different parts, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be lit up, man. You know, the Lord gives us visions, man, but we can't even imagine how glorious he's going to be. Remember, this kingdom is no longer going to be in remembrance, man. Yep. The, 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 what's what's, what's uh, high level over here on this side is going to be extremely low level in the kingdom. We're going to be like, what's cement? What's cement? I don't know. In the kingdom, we ain't going to know what cement is, man. Uh, only thing we got cement for is making Esau walk with some cement shoes. You know? Go ahead, bro. Verse 19. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. All manner of precious stones. So I was telling these brothers, man, you see some of the stones. Are, hey, the brother, uh, shout out to the brother Mayum up in uh, Tampa. He sent me a picture of a tub made out of malachite, man. Oh, uh, that was fire. Man, what? Uh, and malachite is good for like your respiratory system, your lungs, your immune system. That's what it's good for, man. A malachite tub, bro? You know, and he, that's what Esau got. Imagine what we gonna have, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Verse 19, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was Jasper. The second, Sapphire. The third, Cal Cal Chalcedony. Chalcedony. Yeah. 
the fourth and emerald, the fifth sardonyx, 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 the sixth sardinus, sardius, the seventh crystallite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth uh, what is it? Chryso Chrysophysis, the eleventh, a jack, a Japanith, Japanith, Jason, Jason, or Jason, one or two, Jason, the twelfth, and amethyst. Right, and so these are, you know, a lot of these are the stones of the tribes too. You know, sometimes tribe stones have different names, right? Um, but uh, you know, this, hey, this is how you know we got glory stones. You can some of these stones you can't even pronounce right. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know. And, and the the Lord got so many stones that haven't even been revealed, man. So many, man. And that small stone that you showed us, how much was it worth? Oh, uh, uh, if you get a nice opal stone with color play, I need that uh, charger back. All right. uh, you get a nice stone with uh, an opal, you get an opal now, it can run you $30,000, man. You get opals now, $30,000, man. That's how much it costs for a small opal stone nowadays, man. You know? You know, and so the, all, the, all of these things are going to be glorious in our kingdom, man. This is, this is hell, man. This is hell. You know, this is hell, man. And people don't understand that. They're, they're, they're living in their heaven, though. You know, these people are, are living in their heaven. You know, we're, we're living in a, a city full of uh, 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 homosexuals and sodomites, man. This is hell, man. You know. This is this don't make no sense, and we're asking the Lord to save us and deliver us, man. Love, love, love. That's hate, man. All right. If it was, if it was up to the homosexuals, the world. Hey, what's his, what's his name? See, see that? Hey, hey. And when you get when, you, when they get when they get when they get smoked, and then it's a bad thing, right? They say God's got his woman. Her name is Jessica. You see what I'm saying? It's through, man. Hey, the thing is, even 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 uh, the, 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 the male looking female, she was looking good. And I'm like, God damn, all right, like, you you got you got crannies out here. That, you got uh, sod you got sodomites that got good looking women out here. Like, we got to deal with this nonsense, man. It don't make no sense, man. Lord save us, Bob. You no, know? uh, go ahead, read on. Uh, yeah, Revelations twenty one and twenty one, and the twelve gates are twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it was transparent glass. See that? Pure gold, as it were transparent glass, man. That's that's beautiful, man. You know, so when you, when you you can't even fathom that, man. You trying to think of what transparent glass is, man? That's how glorious the city gonna be, and gold is reflective. Imagine this whole street is gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> this gold, man. That'll make you happy. Do you know the vibration that comes from that? Just walking down the street, you get cause stones and stuff give off energy. And gold gives off energy, man. You're walking on that, everything you're receiving is high vibration and high energy. What you got, bro? It's Isaiah 54 and uh, verse 11. O thou afflicted and tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair color, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, mm -hmm. and I will make thy windows of agate, and thy gates of carbuncle. And all that borders of pleasant stone. See that? Uh, everything, everything is gonna be stoned up around us, man. There's some beautiful agate too. Agate's another stone. There's so many various types of agates, man. There's so many. No, y'all can go ahead. There's so many various types of agate, man. You know. And so these, these are these are what we're looking forward to. You know. We're, and so all these, they, they look at this, man. All this city is built up with cement and brick. You know what I'm saying? Like this is through. You don't get no, you get negative vibrations for them. You walk on cement, your, your joints will start hurting, your body will start hurting, shin splints, your knees, your ankles, everything giving out. It's all negative vibration and wickedness here. All right? But everything is going to be with us is going to be pure glory, man. But our people will sell their soul for this crap. Man. Yep. Yep. Sell their soul to walk on it, you're driving your damn car, you got to worry about a flat tire. We ain't going to worry about I hate getting a new tire, bro. Like, we like getting new tires. This shit the worst. Or a top pop on you, man. That shit the worst, man. We got chairs. We ain't got to worry about tires no more, bro. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about our cars. Our, our, our chairs ain't going to stop. 
Ain't gonna be no, hey, yo, call the mechanic, you gotta, you gotta work up. on your shit, right? I gotta fill up. Right, I gotta fill up. <laughs> oh, man, we ain't gotta worry about getting gas no more. That's through, bro. You know? But this is the glory of the kingdom, and that's why the Lord says, uh, our light affliction, it doesn't compare to the great glory in which he worketh in us, man. Yeah. It's like the Lord, he's showing his power, you know, just by, through Esau, like, how he can make an airplane, you know, some airplanes just go straight up right. and take off. Mm -hmm. But the Lord still gave him a shitty end because once that airplane takes off about 800, about 800 uh, miles, it needs to fill up again. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. But you know what? That's funny, man. People will believe an airplane flying through the sky. Came back. Came back. <laughs> right. There yeah, you go, bro. Back. There you yeah, go, bro. Get away. You let him pull you away, man. <laughs> it wasn't that. I was just trying to drink. Ah oh, man. I don't give a damn about the outlet, man. You intoxicated or are you good enough to have a conversation right now? I can always have a conversation. I mean, we'll talk with uh, people. I can that... always have a conversation. All right, all right. So look. So you said you wanted to read the sign, right? Okay, tell me about Jesus. So, well, that's not his name, first off. All right, what's his name? Are we going to get to that in a second? No. You're going to tell me what his name no, is. No, I'm no. Whoa, hold on. Come on, man. Hey, you got to chill. Said... You okay, said we're going to have a conversation. And I said, right, you said, what's so his we name? we're going to have a conversation. Right, so you can't. You're going to tell me what his name we is. So you're not going to force it on me. I said, we're going to get there, man. You his can't do that, man. Okay, go ahead. You, you want to do that? You, no, I'm good, bro. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. All right, so when we, you want to talk about the name. So the name of the Lord, right? And I see you got Christ Jesus on your arm. So. Where you see that at? Right there, on your arm. All right, go ahead. You sure you're not drunk, bro? Trust me, I'm all not right, drunk. All right, man. All right, so. If I was drunk, I'd be falling back right now if I was drunk. Go ahead. Give me Acts 4 and 12. So this is the thing. So when you talk about this name, right? The letter J, when the Messiah walked the earth, that letter J wasn't existent, bro. Why are you turning around like that? You, that's hard for you to receive? What, no, when you walked the I earth. I've been received that, man. Okay. So so Give me if something that, else. So you so that so that's hard for you. I'm saying, like, why why you say you've been received that? You heard that wasn't his name before? No, I've heard several things. Okay. But his name, let's let's just talk about his name. Okay, go to Acts 4 and 12. Okay. That's, Acts chapter 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none. Come on, it's a King James Version, brother. Come on, man. We got to do all the touching, man. What's going on, man? I'm just. I'm just, 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 hey, just, just looking at the book. I'm looking at the book. I can't look at the book. I can't look at the book. I'm just looking at the book. All right, man. Go ahead. Go I just want to let y'all know that I am non violent. I don't want no problem. we not violent, too, bro. Okay. I'm just looking at the book. Good. Hey, what's going on, Rock? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Be easy, bro. Drive safe, man. All right, you too. Same problem we got there. Same problem. Same problem. Then they, they see you on Sundays in church. Then <laughs> your mama got all that dust sitting up on in her house. King James, we we shouldn't go to that. Hey man, you, hey, look, it's 2021, man. I don't know what y'all got. Hey, out there. hey, you, got, you can go to it on your phone. You can read with us if you want. Okay, can you take the camera off, you know? Oh, I mean, you walked up to the camera, right, so right. so I'm you. Sure. I feel like you wanted to be on it. No. I'm <laughs> be on the camera, uh, all right then. <laughs> the all people right, I work for, I ain't trying to be on the camera, bro. All right. But Acts, I want. I, I want to know the truth. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Acts four and twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. Right. So we talk, when we talk about Judgment Day and the return of the Messiah, right? There's only one name under the heaven whereby we can be saved, bro. It's only one name. So, it, like, what's your name, for instance, bro? What do you oh. think my name is? I'm not sure. So sure. that's why I'm asking. We having a conversation. <laughs> if I told you my name, it'll fuck all of y'all up. What's your name, man? Michael. Oh, how's that? How's that? How does that mess up? You Who know what I mean? Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? Absolutely. What do you mean? Like God. Okay, fair enough. Humans like the Mosai, but in Hebrew, it's Maya Ka'ala. Right. right. So, uh, uh, so it's only one name under the heaven whereby you must be saved. So you can't. So your name is Michael. So if I say, "Hey, Jason," "Hey, Jason," guess what my middle name is? Is it Jason? Jason. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, all right, Terry. So hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. It's not That's so a coincidence. I'm about to mess Come up. Come on, Michael. Okay, okay, hold on, Michael. Hold on, let me finish. So if I, so if I said, "Hey, Terry," "Hey, Terry," tell me your last name, not Terry, right? All right. So if I say, "Hey, Terry," are you gonna answer me? No. Okay, so that's the same way how the Heavenly Father and His Son feel about their name. Their names are important to them, okay? And so it's only one name that we can call on that we can be delivered. Because it's about to be crazy in America, man. It's about martial law. It's about to break out. It's about to be lawlessness here. So all of the people that are calling on false names, He doesn't hear that. What's your name? My name is Jacob. 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 Yes. So how do you feel about Esau? Esau going into slavery. 
Really? Esau, yes. Yeah. Did he go on in Esau? Nope. Did he go on Esau? Nope. Right. So you know about Esau and Jacob then, huh? I know all about it. So, uh, so uh, who is Esau? Who are they today? Who are they today? Yeah, it's better question. Who are they today? Yeah, who are, who are the Edomites? The people you ain't trying to be fucked up with. That's the people who, you are there. Who are they? What they look like? White. Okay, so you know, you know you're an Israelite, don't you? Bro, I'm, I'm not dumb. You man. know you're an Israelite. All right. So why have you? What? What's? what's if, I, if, if, if I was to tell you what I do for a living, what would you suspect? A spy or something? <laughs> right. Not even close. I know y'all would never guess it. Look, like peace I said, up. I'm here in peace, brother. All right. Peace I'm up. here in peace. You good, bro? Go feel. I'm just here in peace. I'm making okay. sure. All right. Good, good. If I was to tell you what I did for a living, what would you suspect? You a cop. I mean, I don't, it's a lot of careers, but how you talking? You sound like you work with the government. <laughs> so I don't know what you do. Yeah, right. What do you do for a living? Fuck the government. You can Fair enough. We agree. We agree. That. We I agree. Fuck the government. We agree. What you do, man? It's all good. Maybe. It's all good. All right, all what you, you do for a living? I'm a music teacher, man. A music teacher? I teach music. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You know. I teach music. So I know a lot where music come from. Okay. I know where, where it originally, you know, came from, who it came from, and why it came from. And I do every day in my classroom to reach out to you, you know, to reach them on a different platform where everybody else can reach them. Okay. And I know, I'm not saying that I'm the most knowledgeable brother or I know the most shit about you know, whatever the hell is going on around us, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that. I'm not gonna see things tell you that. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you I know enough to know that I'm aware. Okay, you know what I'm saying? fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm aware enough. But I wanna become more aware along with the truth. Okay. And I don't want no lies. We, we're not going to give you no lies. Correct. But if you shoot me a lie, I'm a question. I'm Fair enough. Question. You're supposed to. You're supposed right. to. Correct. We agree. Correct. So uh, first, give me that. Give me that, uh, John. John 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right. So this word is what's going to make us truth, because they've been lying to us about everything, man. Who's lying they? The, uh, what's going on, man? Uh, lying to us about this society, the, meaning, the, first off, the so-called white nation, they? the so-called white nation. Who is they? First, I'm just answer you. The so-called white nation, starting off with them. All right, they're the, they're the, uh, they're the wicked of the earth, and it's not about oh, your skin color, right? Because true. there are people that look so-called white but are Israelites. So when we speak about Israelites, the Bible speak. They call us words like African American, uh, Haitian, uh, uh, Dominican. They call us all of these names. But the Lord, according to the Bible. We have a, if you read Deuteronomy 28 chapter, it lets you know uh, what people will be under the curses. Those are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. Okay? So we just Gad? Gad. These Gad. brothers are Gadites. Yeah, yeah, them brothers are Gadites. Do you have a, a scripture for that? You want one? Yeah, let's go to Genesis the 49 chapter. Okay. And give me the one with lion's faces and somebody can look that one up too. And I want the one with uh, Isaac. It, I'm sorry, it's a car. It's a car. Yep, yep. Correct. Yep. I want the one with Isaac car. And got it. We're gonna get them. They both in Genesis the fourth okay. chapter, so you don't know. Like I said, this is not nothing to. You can, you're supposed to ask questions, bro. Like, no. I want to know. Yeah, that's that's what it's about. You gotta ask questions, because, bro. See, look, like I'm looking at people right now. They're looking at me right now. Looking, looking at me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know, I got no problem. I got no problem. We gotta deal with that every week. You get used to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not good. It's not me getting used to. It. You gotta understand. I deal with this every day in the classroom. Right, right. So uh, read uh, Genesis, read Genesis 49 and one and two. And okay. then uh, jump over to uh, verse 19. Yeah, brothers. Yeah. Okay. I'm on with y'all. Okay. Read Genesis 49. It's Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day. Right. So he said, This is, uh, I, I mean, Israel talking to his sons, these 12 men. And he says, This is what's going to happen to you in the last days, in the end days. This is how you're going to know who you are. Go ahead. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together and hear. Ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. All right, now jump down to uh, verse uh, 19. Genesis 49 and 19. Head, a truth shall overcome them. Right, so do you know how uh, America was founded? Why y'all read from the Old Testament? We read from the Old Testament. You gotta eat the whole roll. Why? Because that's what the Bible says. The Bible says eat your. What does the Bible say? Uh, give me Ezekiel, the third chapter. Yep, and you can read. Uh, you and can I want to know why the Bible says that. You, know, you need you, because first of all, they are both covenants. That's number one. Those are those are both okay. covenants yep. that were made to the children of Israel. So you need to be able to understand the Old and the New Testament. You can't just uh, take part of it. You know, this you got. This is our history. Yep, this is our history. You got to know where you from. It's our. The Israelites. 
Yeah. We're assuming you're right. we're assuming you're an Israelite, a so-called black, Hispanic, or native. You know? I say I'm assuming. And yeah, you are. You're an Israelite. You're a Jake. You sure? Yeah, I know. How you know? For a fact. Your spirit. How you spirit. Know? Your spirit. Your spirit. Your spirit. Your spirit. Okay, when you understand the Bible, 1 John 4 and 1, it says, the love. All right, stop right there. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. All right, you know. All right. Okay, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Go ahead. This is uh, the Ezekiel 3 and 1. Mm -hmm. It says, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat, eat that thou findest. Mm -hmm. Eat this gold mm -hmm. and go speak unto the house of Israel. All right, so that's how we're able to come out to the highways and byways now and speak because we understand the Old Testament and the New Testament, what they're about. So we're to openly and boldly proclaim what the Bible is referring to. Can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. Why are y'all laughing right now? Okay, uh, give me uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, verse 20. We can't okay, go from Proverbs. Go from another book. Proverbs is on my sleeve right now, so I what know about Proverbs. Okay, okay so Proverbs. if you know about Proverbs, you know why we are here. Okay, all right. So yeah, you but I want to know why you out here. I'm asking the question. I want to know why you're out here. What's up? Luke 14 and 21. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Luke 14 and 21. 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 If you go to a Baptist church, only people that believe in Baptist, uh, Baptist Christianity are going to go to that church. But out here, no matter what your ethnicity is, no matter what your religion is, no matter what your beliefs are, you're going to hear the words of the Lord. So he says wisdom is going to cry out in the streets. So we have to go out to the highways and byways to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. To let, like you said, I don't want people to know my job. Don't you think we all got jobs? Bro? There's a difference, bro. Mm -hmm. I have to teach this every day. You have to teach what every day? Music? Music. Right. We all got jobs too, bro. Music is the most powerful thing on this earth. Uh, this word is the most powerful thing. No, sir. Yes, it is. Yeah. Music is okay. more powerful than this word. This yeah, that's all I'm about to say. Hold on. Well, hold on. This is music. I you to do what I want you to do with music. No, no, he can't. I'll tell you what. I can stop a group of people right now with music more than what you can stop a group of people okay. with network. Okay, you, you want to see? Am I lying? You want to see? Am I lying? Hey, hey, look, 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 look let me show you something. Let me show you something. I bet you, you money you can, Okay, I look, can stop a look, look, group of okay. people right now with fair music. Fair enough, fair enough. First of all, first off. But it don't matter. It's music. First off, right? off. Is it not music? Give me, music. give me Revelation 14, number one. Secondly, hey, check this out. If you whip out your trumpet and start playing over there. I don't play trumpet, I play trumpet. Okay, brother. Whatever okay. instrument you want to choose. All right, all right, all right. If you out here and you playing your tuba and you honking away, right? Right. So people going to come up, they're going to throw you a couple shekels and they're going right. to keep you pushing. Right. But these brothers are going to stay out here for hours in servitude of the Lord. Correct. That's the difference. Why? But this is the real Why? song. So let's read this real quick. Why? Hold on, hold on, don't bro. Read no, nothing. no, we got to read. No, If you don't, don't want us to read, you don't can read. go. If you don't want us to read, you can go, bro. We want to read. Hold up, but, but no, 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 brother. If you don't want us to read it, you got to go. We got to right, read it. This is more important than your this, main word. Yeah, bro. Boy, this, the weasel word is the Lord. It is. It is. No, that's your opinion. It is. It is. That's your opinion. No, no. These no, are, no. This is the word of the Lord. Don't say read. Don't say the Lord. Right? Don't say the Lord. Don't say the Lord. Who wrote that? Oh, man. Who, who, you want to hold it? So wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 brother. Wait, 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 wait. So you telling me you got a scripture on your arm and you don't believe in the Bible? I'm not saying that. Hold on, bro. Now you're twisting it. Then why are you asking about who wrote it? Because I'm asking him. Okay. okay. He said Let's it. get 2 Peter 1 and 21. Yeah. If you, all right, bro. Oh, we got, yeah, we got the answers, bro. Who's Peter? We got, he's a disciple of the Lord. Really? Next. Was he Wait, you don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe. In the word. In the word. In what word? In the, the word. It says, in whose oh, word? Man, in whose word? In the word that you got written on your tongue. <laughs> bro, you lost. Hold up, hold up, you hold lost up. in the sauce, bro. No, 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 you don't no, believe. No, 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 no. You don't believe. Whoa, 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 then why whoa, are you whoa. asking questions of an unbeliever? I'm asking questions. You said who was Peter? You said no, he wasn't. Bro, I said he was bro, a disciple bro, of the Lord. Bro, said, no, hey, he hey, 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 listen. Yeah, to me. There's a lot of people on this earth right now that have the same stuff that they written, that have written
I did not say that. I said Peter's a disciple. You said no, he is not, bro. You said that. What? Oh, man. Hey, look. Anyway, anyway, you asked your brother, we're going to ask you a question. All right, go ahead. Second Peter 1 and 21. Hey, Larry, you started at 20, so he can hear that, too. Second Peter 1 and 20, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Uh huh. It ain't of no private interpretation. Go ahead. Well, the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, right? But holy men of God spake. That they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That's right. So you got to understand, you got to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Those are the people who, who had these things written. This chronicle of books, man. All right? And Peter was one of them. <laughs> All right? Can I ask a question? Sure. But I want to I wanna get a contact information from y'all, man. I want to I wanna talk to y'all. Oh, no. Nah, you can come out here every Sunday, then. That's how you can talk to us. We are here every, hey, bro. We are here every week. Unless the Lord takes us from the church. Anybody have kids? Anybody have kids? What's the importance of that? Anybody have kids? What's the, yes, brothers have kids. What's the Who got kids? Don't matter. What's the important thing? No, yes, it do matter. Okay, yes, brothers Who have got kids. kids. We're not about to give you all our intel, bro. We don't know you. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, what, yes, so, so that's what that song means. So, so, yes, brothers have children. What do you, what's your question? Okay, but that's what that song means. What's your question? If I can't be here every Sunday because of my kid, then what is that? Oh, uh, sacrifice. Hey, 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 sacrifice. Hey, give me that. Uh, uh, you can't you talk to somebody that plays for you. Give me that. Hey, look. I don't play for fraternity, bro. That's a problem. Okay. I was gonna address that before hey, you left. Hey, I was gonna address that before you left. Turn that camera off. Yeah, if you don't want to turn that camera off, then we got nothing to talk. All right, we got nothing to talk about. We ain't turning the camera off. This is for your salvation. That's right. Hey, the, hey, I, if you don't refuse, the Lord's gonna destroy you, man. Yeah. And the, hey, he the fraternity out, is a hey, the fraternities are wicked, bro. They're wicked. I was in one. I got a brand two. I was in one. Which one? So it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. No, it don't matter. Why? I can already tell right now you're a sick boy. I'm not. Hey, you ain't the bruh. I'm a captain. I was a captain first. Sorry, nah. So it don't matter. So it don't matter. It don't matter. So that's a false. You're following false gods. 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 You're following Hey. I don't treat you no different. Okay, give me Matthew 12, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 48. Don't, don't, don't read this. Please, please don't read this. See, you don't want to hear the word. What kind of man are you, bro? Believe in the Bible. You don't want to hear the words of the Bible. That's what we all hear the word. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead and read it. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and read it. Thank you. 12 and 48. Speak unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Go ahead, brother. This is Matthew 12, verse 48. But he answered, but he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brother? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brother. Uh -huh. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Those are our brothers, man. The ones that do the will of our father. So if you don't believe in this Bible, we don't look at you as our brother. So two thirds of our people are going to get judged because they don't want to be our brothers, man. Which they they like heathens. Huh? Which church do y'all go to? This is the church. The church is a congregation of men. Oh, Ecclesiastes. The no, uh, no, no. Oh, the Lord said, said don't, Acts, don't go to buildings. Acts, Acts 7 to 48, Acts, Isaiah 66 and 1, Acts 17 and 24. They all say we ain't supposed to be in churches, bro. This is a church. And, uh, and the Greek word ecclesiast means a congregation of men, man. This is church. You ain't, you see, look, you don't go up in the church and be like, Pastor, don't bring out no right, scriptures. Right. But up here, you want to tell us don't read the Bible? That's oh, true, man. Let's do it. Acts chapter 7 and 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. He ain't up in them churches. He ain't up in them churches, man. You know? I don't go to church. I good, good. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's the best thing you've said since you've been out here. I do not go to church. I read everything for myself. Everything that y'all read here, what was it, Matthew? You don't know. You don't know. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it was Matthew 17? Nope. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> See you, sir, man. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> hey, whatever. I'm not on the level that y'all on, but I can't tell you that all of y'all my brothers. If I see y'all in public, no, I'm I'm, okay, okay. Now, understand where I'm coming from, man. I'm I get you on that regard. Okay. I understand when, on that regard. All right. When I approach y'all, I approach all of y'all at the place of non-hostility, mm -hmm. right? Did I not? You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your job and all of y'all jobs is not to make me feel dumb. Or stupid. Have we done that? Okay. Have we done that? Wait, no, wait, wait. Have we done that? How? 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 No, that's not. Hey. No, hey, wait, hold on, brother. You, hold, on, brother. Hold, on, brother. hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Give me hold Jeremiah 16. Hold on. 16. Don't give me nothing. Don't give me nothing. No, give me nothing. But brother, wait. Don't give me nothing. I'm See, you don't want to hear the word. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. All right, talk, man. Talk. I want to talk to you. Hold on. I want to talk to you. If you're trying to reach people, right? If you're trying to reach people, give me Romans 11 and 17. Hold on. I got a preacher. I got a preacher. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish the speech. 
Listen, 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 bro. There are some people in this world you don't need to treat the world. What? There are some people in this world what in this world. What scripture is that, man? That don't exist. You don't even exist. the most time. You gotta bring out some what scripture. scripture say that? This, hey, we are all, all praises. Wait, wait, all praises to who? Listen. All praises to who? Listen. Listen to, to who? Listen to who? I teach 11, 12, and 13 year olds. And we teach all ages. Listen. Yep. <laughs> if you came into my classroom with that, this ain't this ain't for it's a child. It's time to place everything. everything, right? So it ain't for all, brother. No, it no. It ain't for all, there are gonna be children who are of the elect, man. If, if you, but you if, can't walk. You can, the, the so scriptures don't. So, no, wait, wait, brother. The scriptures say you don't supposed to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So you don't supposed to be up in your job bringing out scriptures, bro. That ain't the time for that. That's your paper. So I just said if you were to bring out this scripture or these scriptures that y'all were reading, you would lose your job. Can, no, it's not about losing a job. Can you connect to my kids? What y'all be doing? I guarantee right? the, 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 the left is going to hear these words. Hey, my voice. Hey, please, hey, no man hey, the Lord is going to destroy you if you don't repent. That's man. right. You don't even believe at all. You don't believe in the disciples. He, he think, hey, I bet you think Jesus is a white man, too. <laughs> well, he is, technically. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he, got, he got Jesus on his arm, but don't believe, man. He don't believe. You know? That, that, that's like, we living in a nation full of unbelievers, man. You know? He, he, we treat him with respect and everything. He was being a nigga. He gonna sit up here and lie. He know damn well he said Peter wasn't a disciple, man. He know he said that, man. He's probably he don't have a broken and contract spirit. Bro. He, he just he think he know it over there. And then he don't want to hear the scriptures. He ain't trying to shun the scriptures, bro. Any man, he said you can't reach everybody with the word. First of all, we ain't trying to reach everybody. Secondly, it, it ain't for you. And men like that, you know it's not for him, man. Real quick, get that Jeremiah 16 and 16. And, uh, uh. Yeah, go ahead, Greg. Jeremiah 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. and they shall fish them. Right, so that's what we are to do. We're fishing for the elect. Oh, wait, when you read Romans 11 and 7, I'm just quoting it because we about to get out of here. So it says, uh, only the uh, election shall obtain it, man. You know, so we are here fishing. What are y'all doing out here? That dude, he, the, the thing about it, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, uh, fraternity junk got his mind warped, bro. You see what I'm saying? And so that's how you know men are allowed to change their ways, man. Men are allowed to change their ways. I was a part of that filthiness, man. They, you, you, they literally have you passing through a fire doing that. You gotta bend down the idol gods. You get your ass beat just to be approved. It's all wickedness, man. And they follow idol deities. And that, the fraternity he's in, Omega Sci-Fi, which are known as the Q's, what they do is they run around and they bark like dogs, man. They, they do a stroll and they bark like dogs. And that, that's how you know they're in a the Greek mindset, man. Beasts. But he don't understand that. We try to bring out the easy, I'm all about the truth. No, you're not. Because every time we try to bring out a scripture to answer your question, you didn't even want to hear it, man. He didn't even leave receiving the name of the Lord. And that's because it wasn't for him, man. He couldn't even, as soon as I said the Jesus thing, he was like, he started making faces and shit. You know, but you got something, bro? This is Matthew 15, in verse 12. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Uh -huh. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into it. He hey, it. he's blind, man. Going up in and be like, Can I reach the students in my school? You got them, he said, uh, what did he say? I don't know if he said 11 or 12 year olds or 11 and 12 graders, I can't remember. But nonetheless, you can't, first of all, you can't go up in, if that's your job, you can't go up in there pulling out the scriptures, man. But even if he did, he's thinking he's doing the right thing, but this is the real song that the people gonna listen to. He believes in music than the, the scriptures. He yep. believes that music is the most powerful thing on the earth. <laughs> this word is the most powerful thing on the earth. It's all right. Hey, wait until he get judged, or wait until he uh, the, when you see the Messiah come back. I hope we see. Him. I hope we right. He just says, "Hey, he gonna get jacked up, man." He went. You shunning the script. It's one thing for you to be proud, but by saying, "No, I don't want to hear the scripture. I don't want to." hear That's yeah, another thing. He was yep. a fool. He was a fool, man. He read it earlier. A fool have no. Proverbs eighteen and two. A fool have no delight in understanding. <laughs> yep. He had no delight in. It. Yep. He didn't want to hear, bro. And that's the reason why he let them girls pull him away the first time. Because he, he a fool. You know, that, that let us know that when he came back, I'm like, all right, maybe we can work with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Nope, he was wicked. And that's why he was with them, man. You know, and he know he an Israelite too. When he brought up Esau, he know he a Jake. How do you know? How do you know? 
You know what I'm saying? But then couldn't quote no scriptures. The one, the one the brother read from Matthew, he couldn't even repeat it. The Lord wouldn't even let him repeat the scripture, man. You got it. Ecclesiastes of Sirach, 8 verse 17. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> keep not with a fool, because he cannot keep counsel, man. We, we, we was wasting our time with that dude. But it's often edification of the elect. You know what I'm saying? But that guy, you, you, he's showing you he's wigging in. Don't put me on the camera. This, hey, the scriptures talk about not being ashamed of the gospel. He ashamed that he's down. Don't put me on camera. Hey, shit, man. We ain't all been in that position, man. You got to shake them fears in order to serve the Lord, man. I'm trying to run away from the truth. Okay. Nigga said that he can't come out here every Sunday because he has kids. <laughs> Matthew 10 and 37. He that loves his father or mother Ooh. more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves his son or daughter more than me is not, not worthy of me. You know? So hey, we there's plenty of brothers out here that got they got kids. Right. You know, they got they got a family at home. But if you really love your kids, if you really love your daughter, your wife, you know, your household, you will be coming out here making your body a living sacrifice because because your household has a chance to be saved. Yep. And see, he a fool. It's really his his woman got him in a these niggas got bonnets on. Uh he's really uh uh he's he's really in a uh his woman it's really woman worship. His, his woman's out here telling him, hey, you gotta watch the kids. We he go he, he said he don't go to church. So if you don't go to church on Sunday, what the hell you doing? Your woman can watch the kids. Sure. Hey baby, yeah. I gotta you know what I'm saying? Through, man. Yeah. He was out of there. But you know he pussy, but but don't you have no women. Drag them away. Right. I got kids. All right. Get somebody to babysit them then, bro. Do what you got to do to make your body. But we knew he wasn't going to receive that, man. We couldn't even get past Yo, Jesus man. on him. You Yo. know? Shit. Abraham What's going on, man? Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> for real. For real. What you talking about, man? You got to make a sacrifice for the Lord, man. That's the thing. Cats don't want to make no sacrifice for the Lord. You can't give the Lord three hours of your time, bro. Is that what you're telling me? You can't get a Lord three hours. You got all this time in the week with a Bible verse on your arm. You can't get a Lord three hours, man. That's how you know people with those Bible, Bible verses, they be through. Yep. They yep. Just do it just for, you know, Thank glory. glory. Yep. Make everybody else think they spiritual. I said, bro, you got Jesus Christ on your arm. He said, where? I'm looking at it on you. <laughs> it's right there, bro. He was foolish, man. A foolish man. Show, had that little piece Be so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christ Jesus, our <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, man, we gonna wrap it up with that one. Uh, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come in and week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this uh, uh, this place known as America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Bible. All right, uh, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. You so-called white people are going into slavery, according to the scriptures. We want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Shalom. 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 Abab the ball. Abab the ball.